Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with oxygen not included. Wherein we've had a disaster. Uh, I put a bit too much water in this room right here. Uh, to flash to steam to start with. And basically there was too much pressure and it exploded through this wall here. Um, because there were somehow like three or four tiles worth of water on this tile. Liquid compression, I know. Um, and it exploded through this way. So now we've got really, really, really hot steam in the volcano room. Uh, and we've broken everything that can break from heat in this room. Um, so here's, oh, and also a bunch of pipes have, like, deconstructed and fallen to the floor, and so on. Um, so here's the plan to fix it. I'm gonna pump whatever gas happens to be lying around here into this room. Uh, for two reasons. To try to lower the temperature in here. Holy crap, 1700 grams. Uh, I might have to go for high pressure. Yeah, I think we need to go... It's not going to melt. Well, it would if it's lead. Um, uh, we need to make this out of something. Uh, how about steel? Uh, so it, the, the steel is going to give a plus X overheat temperature, but this thing can't actually overheat. It would have to be at melting... T There's plastic in it. Hmm, that's a problem. Um, okay, we have like 1700 grams per tile of steam in this room. I guess we can add about 300 grams per tile of oxygen, which hopefully is going to dramatically lower the temperature. Maybe I'll let the steam start coming out after that. We'll see how this goes for starters. Don't get stuck in there while there's no power for the airlock, please. Um, but yeah, there should be too much gas pressure in this room now to... Can I disable repair? Disable auto repair. Perfect. Disable auto repair. Um, this one doesn't have an overheat temperature at least. So that much should be okay. So basically, step one, we're going to pump in some oxygen um, just to lower the overall temperature. Um, I don't think it's going to, going to lower that much, though. If we can only put, like, 15% oxygen in this room. Although the temperature gap is from, like, 1,000 degrees down to 25 I guess I could do a block swap and make this not an insulated tile, like right here somewhere. And just let heat leak out of it. I mean, it's already happening um, because our airlock door. This room is supposed to be a vacuum. Um, our airlock door is conducting heat out of the room. So it is already slowly cooling down and heating this area up. I hope it's not going to get so hot that, for example, our heavy watt conductive wire is going to melt. That'd be 330 degrees or so. Um, judging by how quickly it's getting hotter, I don't think it will happen that way. Probably. So I guess, ultimately, I could just leave this for a while. 
Um, but obviously it's going to work faster if we... Why is this not active? Uh, if we pump oxygen... Oh, because they haven't built this. That's why. If, if we pump some nice, cool oxygen straight into the room... The temperature should drop pretty dramatically, at least a little bit. Uh, it'll drop fast, but maybe not as much as we'd like. I'm guessing maybe about 150 degrees or so. Since this is practically near zero compared to 1000 degrees. Uh, and we're able to put like 15% oxygen in here. All right. Valdak, good to see you again. Welcome. What the hell is this? Molten lead? Oh no. Oh no. I didn't think of that. I didn't realize the door would get hot enough to melt. Well, um, our problem's going to be kind of sort of solved for us whether we like it or not, as heat leaks out of this room, um, yeah, that's, uh, this one's probably not going to melt because now we've got, like, gas exchanging temperature through here. Yeah, it's only 160 degrees now. Maybe we could deliver some ice in here or something? Might not be the worst idea. What is this length of heat up here? That's kind of weird. Okay. So this one's down to 200 or so. Fantastic. This, this is still over a thousand. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Oh, this is our polluted water. Which is very far from saturated right now. Why is that? Comes in here pretty much saturated, and then splits, that's why. And that should keep this area relatively cool. Um, but that's not really the problem, is it? Hmm. I wish air currents were more of a thing in this game. What's the melting point of this, uh... I guess if we make it out of igneous rock, insulated gas pipe... Should be pretty hot. It should be the same temperature that... It turns into magma, like, that comes out of a volcano. Uh, igni... Let's look up magma. Liquid magma turns to igneous rock at 1400 degrees, and igneous rock turns to magma at 1400 degrees. So we should be able, if we use igneous rock, to To pump some nice, cool hydrogen through here. Who is suffocating? Evil Plav, what are you... Why are you... Why is there no power? 
Do we have no coal? We have no coal. And Evil Plier is halfway to Suffocated. Uh, but this thing has charges. What? It should be working, even if it doesn't have electricity connected right now. What? Great, so the modded door is malfunctioning. Um, how about we connect it like this? And disconnect basically everything else except this door? Come on, open the door. It should be powered now. There's no actual wire here, is there? Why are you in this room? Alright. Deconstruct this. Super high priority. Now build it again. Before all of the chlorine comes out. And make it snappy, please. No, don't you get stuck in here as well. How did you even... Get out of here, Larius. Oh my god. Don't immediately run to the other side of it. I... You're all trying to die, aren't you? Just gonna have to keep juggling dupes because I can't tell them not to go through here until it's built. Not you too, Cavern. Evil Plug, get back there. Larius. Stop it. Sloder, don't even think about it. Not again, evil pla. No, you don't, Larius. I can't see exactly how built this is. But it must be like 60% at most. Myclat, Evil Plum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Budgie Bomb, what are you even doing in here? Make it quick, please. There we go. Okay, no one's allowed through this door. Until we've sorted out our power issues. <sighs> How much... A surprisingly small amount of chlorine got out. Gas really doesn't like to move around very much in this game. Which is a bit of a problem when it comes to trying to cool this room. Uh, but yeah, I think if we just... Build insulated gas pipes. Um, loop the cold hydrogen through. The hydrogen won't exchange temperature too, too quickly with this very hot room. So I'm hoping it won't get so hot that it, like, melts our radiant gas pipes uh, when, we, when it comes back this way. Nor cooks the base super quick. The 
besides which, even if we didn't consider that, we're not building this out of metal because it's going to melt unless we use steel or something. Now, what about coal? Um, well, we've got access to a bunch of it over here. So that's a good quick fix. How much is that? 1.8 tons in one tile? About 600 in most of the tiles? That should last us a little while at least. Where else can we find coal? Uh, consumable ore, coal... Those are some weird shapes. That's a good chunk of coal right there. Probably go for that one. And maybe up here as well. We can probably easily harvest that. I don't think I've set up any... What is this? Sand? Okay then. Um, I don't think I've set up any wrangling of hatches just yet. It's probably way past time we did that. I think I'll put them on this side perhaps. Or maybe even over here. Where else can we get some low hanging coal? Quite a lot of it through here. Actually, let's do it this way first. That should be fine. Hey, accidental waterlock. That's handy. Now then, what are we printing? Uh, probably copper, definitely copper. Not paying attention to any dupes who have only two interests. Um, so I guess we can decon this stuff, decon this, decon that. Oh yeah, we've got this thing analyzed. Next dormancy, 15.3 cycles. We might want to wait for that before we try and fix this up. I wonder where that heat is coming from, that all of this... Uh, the, the thermosensor here just hit 200 degrees. It's a mystery. Maybe I should have put some batteries in here to take advantage of the heat that the batteries generate. Recycle some of that electricity. And did I mark this to be dug out? I did not. Let's do that. We'll need some ladders, actually. Oh, we're out of sandstone. Wow. Should be able to get all that, I think. Fantastic. Did we get our pipes done? We did. Okay. So we're going to try running hydrogen through here. And hope with the insulated pipes that it doesn't heat up so fast that it causes problems for our coolant loop. It's only just positive positive 
by the time it comes out of that, so I think that'll be fine. Yeah, that's... that's exceeding beyond my expectations, to be honest. Alright, so soon enough... Soon enough we'll have this area cooled down to the point where instead of steam we have water. Am I still alive? Indeed, Mr. Ray Ray. You are here. Just vibing. Good to see you again. Welcome, Malcolm. Hope you're doing well. I've been meaning to experiment with these, actually. Um, what are we looking for? Gas. Okay, so obviously, technically, gas could get through there. I saw someone with, like, three or four, um, mechanized airlocks in a row, and that was their airlock system, because it would, like, delete gas from the middle. Um, might be worth a try. Good, good, fantastic. Also, the fact that, like I said, gas isn't that keen to jump across tiles, uh, to flow around in this game. That might also help. Alright, we've got like 20 tons of coal now. That buys us some time at least. Let's enable this. And continue working towards renewable power. Oh, we've got a lot of duplicate skills to go through right now. Uh, I'm going to procrastinate that slightly. We're doing very well with making steel, at least. In fact, why don't I make this out of steel this time, just in case something bad happens. And same goes for... Uh, the power... Power cables here? Those ones are already steel, so... This is obviously not that big of a deal. And make sure... All of these are slightly higher than this. On the priority list. Alright. So we're down to a mere 600 degrees or so. 700 degrees. It, it's fluctuating a lot. On one tile anyway. From anything from 300 to 900 degrees. Interesting. But on this tile... Well, on this tile it's still fluctuating like crazy. <laughs> We're just going to have to give it a while. Once... I, I think it is going to take like 14 cycles. Like, this will be dormant by the time we're ready to... Uh, to pump the gas out of here. Or rather... Well, yeah, there is oxygen and a bit of hydrogen in here. Um, we'll want to get the water out as well. Because this room is supposed to be a vacuum. And the water is obviously going to get hot enough to flash back to steam. Once this whole thing's working. Are you going to get stuck? Kinda, but not the way I was expecting. Cool. Fantastic. Um... So I guess some of the heat from here is still transferring through up here. 
That's why we're seeing periodic uh, bursts of steam turbine up this way. Yeah. I'm okay with this. I kind of wish I'd left space to have um, a heavy watt conductive joint plate to go through here, through the vacuum room. I mean, I guess I technically could. No, this is... Should I? If this goes from gas to a vacuum, and this goes from vacuum to a gas, that's actually what we want, right? That's actually pretty easy to do. We could do it whenever we want. As long as the block swap works properly. We should probably do it sooner rather than later, in that case. So... How many batteries can we fit here? Without moving things around. One, two, three, four... Um, should be able to put it here, right in the middle of these two. It kind of acts as a bridge. It doesn't actually have to be an insulator tile here because this will be vacuum. And then we can just put this here. Um, replace this with a bridge. Save on... Well, I was going to say save on some, uh... Conductive wire, but there's really no reason. It's only that I want the heavy watt conductive wire to connect to the batteries in here. Or, I could just not worry about it in this instance and put batteries in a steam room to take advantage of their heat output somewhere else later on. Should move the water drop off over the hole? Uh, doesn't really matter. I've already got this all, of, all done anyway, so I don't really want to move all of those things. Oh! Hmm. We don't actually need a conveyor shut off. I didn't realize the conveyor chutes could be switched on and off. So we could have like a knot gate here and then just go straight to the conveyor chute. That should be okay, right? Then again, if we shut it off here, it's in vacuum, the hot thing is here, some more hot things have gone through here. If we shut it off here, presumably a hot thing on this tile that hasn't been let out yet would let heat into this room. Probably just leave that as it is. Albion Lang, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how hot are we up here? 200 degrees? 300 degrees? I don't think we can put in a mini pump yet. Since part of it is made out of plastic. Uh, it turns into naphtha at only 160. So yeah, we if we're going to use the plastic pump... We pretty much need to see um, we need to see water in this room instead of steam. But I think we'll just make a temporary liquid pump out of steel. It erupts in nine cycles. But it's it's over pressure. 
I'm pretty sure we would have seen a few more eruptions by now. Alright, uh, the gas pipe here kind of complicates things a little bit. Once again, I wish I had long bridges. I could either go around it or I could make a little bridge here. I think I'll just go around it. Oh, that's... It, this is for water. Dub. Alright, we'll make this out of igneous rock once more. Um, well, we need both, right? Right? Hmm. Yeah, we do. Oh, I should be able to fit a gas pump here. Do gas pumps need to be... No, they can be on the ceiling, can't they? Do liquid pumps need to be on the floor? No, they don't. That's convenient. I guess I'll put the gas pump here somewhere. Could be almost anywhere, actually. But this will be convenient. Uh, and we do need to get liquid out of there as well. So... Insulated liquid pipe. Um, I don't really want to put it into the polluted water pipe. And I don't really want to put it in this room either, because... I mean, technically, it should be okay to have as much water as we did in here, but obviously, that posed a bit of a problem. Well... Hmm. I really don't want to cause another steam explosion, but I'm pretty sure that only happened because of the initial state. Not because of how much volume of water that we actually end up with. Hmm. And if we have more volume... Uh, if we have more thermal mass that it takes to heat up this steam, that's actually sort of better. Overheat damage? God damn it. God damn it. Okay, don't... Don't make the slowest person... When I say it's an emergency to deconstruct this, I don't mean for the slowest person to do it. No, that's fine. There we go. So we do have to wait until... What, 270... Until we're below 275 degrees in here. Which is well before we'll get water in here anyway. We are slowly losing heat from this room. As it leaks into this room and gets deleted by the steam turbines as well. Alright, what are we printing? And what is that? Looted water? Decorating, suit wearing, ranching, tidying, farming, doctoring. I don't think we're looking for a new dupe at the moment. Um, let's get. Let's get some coal farming going. Because I don't think 30 tons is going to carry us as far as we wish. Actually, I'll put the coal right next to. Um, our coal consumers in here. That seems like a good idea. How many tiles is it? 96. And 
and we'll have a pneumatic door. Make it out of iron because we've got oh so very much. Uh, we'll be needing a critter drop off, a rooming station, and in this case, a critter feeder. That's going to take a long time to flash to steam. Alright, how's our temp in here now? Uh, the liquid pipe is getting hotter because we built it out of something that was colder. But yeah, that's that's a that's a good way to look at the temperature in the room. Look at the actual pipes. They change temperature more slowly. So we're still over 600 degrees. Oh, the fluctuating is getting to be less severe as well. Cool, we're like a third of the way there. If not more. I'm liking that the insulated pipe is that insulated that the hydrogen here is still only like 8.4 degrees. We're not worried about cooking our base with this coolant loop. What's this? Igneous rock. Well, we really do just have to wait a little while here. Maybe I should... Hmm. It's going to be dormant in 11.3 cycles, so I don't think I have to worry about pumping oxygen in so that when the steam gets cold enough to go to water and there's like more of a vacuum. Um, and therefore less air pressure from the oxygen and hydrogen. And therefore the volcano could work again. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a... We're going to have a lot of cycles to clean this up before the volcano uh, activates again. So I don't think we need to, like, set up something to pump gas in here the moment the steam disappears. Probably. Maybe I should... Maybe I should keep this door shut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe... Hmm. I'm gonna have to... I think temporarily remove some of this automation wire. To make the steam turbines run unconditionally. Because we're not worried about the efficiency of the steam turbines right now. And then we'll change the thermosensor so that... Um, so that the door is always shut. So that we're always letting heat transfer from here to here. If we let the temperature here get down to 125 degrees... Uh, it'll mean that temperature transfers from here to here more quickly, because there's a bigger difference. Which means this room will cool down faster. Let's 
seems like a good idea. We're down to 578 degrees. Cool. It also gives us a bunch of power for now, which means our coal will last longer before we get some really renewable sources. Alright, looks like we're almost done getting our hatch hatchery ready. Let's put in a couple of airflow tiles. Get that chlorine out of here. Doop-doop-doop. Cool. Temperature is dropping. Efficiency of steam turbines is waning. Uh, temperature in here is actually dropping more rapidly than I would have thought. Looking at the... Okay, the gas pipe temperature just stopped dropping as quickly. I wonder what was going on there. Interesting. It is agonizingly slow, though. Maybe I should make some steel insulated pipe. I mean, uh, not insulated. Radiant pipe right here. I'll just add it like one tile at a time so that we don't overdo speeding up the temperature exchange. Because I definitely don't want to, for example, melt our gold, gold amalgam over here. That would probably be... that's over a thousand. I don't think we have to worry. As long as we don't cook the base. But yeah, this pipe right here should start dropping much more quickly. Fantastic. And this one... Uh, weirdly is gaining temperature. But it's only 230 degrees. Alright, how hot is our hydrogen up here? Hundreds of degrees. Okay. That's, um... That's a little more temperature exchange than I was expecting from one tile of radiant over here. Um, but it's still coming back at... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I think... I think this might make our base a little warmer. Contents hydrogen at negative two. Here it comes. Here comes the hot stuff. Um, it's getting warm kind of quick over here. The volume of it is maybe not that severe. Maybe. How much further do we have to go? We've already lost like a few hundred degrees, or, or at least a hundred degrees since I did that. 
from 75 degrees, the fun begins in the base, indeed. Um... I don't know, I think... I think we might be okay. It's, it's mostly going to be this area. And... We're rapidly approaching being finished. With the temperature exchange here. Although maybe the hydrogen coming back is going to start being a lot warmer. Uh, that's something to consider. Okay, the, the AETN doesn't act like an aqua tuner, though. Um, like, it's still coming back chilly from this side of the loop. Hmm. Maybe I should have just done, like, regular gas pipe made out of igneous rock here. So we won't dump the heat into the base quite so severely. But we will exchange it a bit faster than what we had been doing. Now how hot is this hydrogen? 35 degrees? As opposed to like 13, 14? Yeah, that's, that's more what I had in mind. That should be okay. Well, we've still got a ways to go before the room cools down enough. How many cycles? 8.4 till dormancy. I really want to get things fixed while it's dormant. When the water simply makes the change, gas is also funny in the base? Wait, what do you mean by that? What? don't understand. Also, are we okay for power? Probably. Since we're running these turbines all the time at the moment. Where's our battery? Oh, here's one. It's full. Although this one's, like, not working properly because it's flooded. Do we have another one to compare? Yeah, we do. This one's full. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Power is fine for now. Uh, digging, supplying, building... I don't think so. We're not really looking for more dupes right now. 100C? Indeed. Yeah, I don't think the water in the base is going to reach that temperature, though. We're not even running the hydrogen loop through the water here. It's a, it's a very comfortable 22 to 25 degrees. Fantastic. Steam temp is already approaching minimum in here, which means it's going to exchange temperature here more quickly as well. Which means the room is going to cool down that much quicker. I wish it would hurry up.
I suppose I could pump. Uh, pump the hot gas in here into this cold biome for a laugh. That would certainly cool things off more quickly. We've only got 7.7 .7 cycles left before the dormancy starts. And this thing's still at 424 degrees? Hmm. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, in fact... No, it's like 270 that we can make a pump. Can't do that yet. I could put everything in place for when we do make a pump, though. Kind of did that already. Except for this part. Uh, I'm pretty sure the power goes here. Should be okay. Come to think of it, uh, I probably should make sure when we do pump more water in here, I want to make sure the steam temp is high enough to flash it all to steam. Because we don't want another pressure explosion. So I think we should pr probably go back... to automating this the way we did before. Let the temperature reach 200 degrees in this room. What is all this that we're not picking up? Sand? Granite? I need more storage bins. But I can't really be bothered right now. Alright, so this is going to be Critter, Hatch, Hatchling, uh, Stone Hatch, Stone Hatchling. That's probably the only type of hatch I want. Once we get stone hatches, we'll switch to those exclusively. And we need to wrangle some. Oh, and there's an egg here. Uh, what do we feed them? Hatch. What's our most common stone hatch? Our most common food for stone hatches? Probably... We're going to be reproducing igneous rock. And we've got tons of it, so I think we'll go with that. Hatch. Uh, what? Oh, I can't feed regular hatches igneous rock. It's probably fine. Actually, fantastic. Yeah, we'll just have to wait until we get... Oh no, here it is, stone hatch. Wait. This is under stone hatch. Didn't... Didn't the book just say... We can feed a stone hatch igneous rock? Is, is this a lie? Hatchling. Sandstone sedimentary rock. This is fine. Hatch, sandstone sedimentary. Stone hatch, sedimentary rock. Oh, here it is, igneous rock. It's just not next to it. Um, that'll do. 
Alright, we need to do some wrangling. Probably make a bin for hatchling eggs up here. Alright, we've got our power wire for when we do the water pump. Um, we're going to need... We'll put the gas pump right here, where it can take advantage of the conductive wire. Polluted water's not looking as bad, but why is it 50-50 in here? Where does the 50-50 trace back to? All the way... Uh... Oh, it's because we're dumping... We're getting rid of polluted water right now. Using the water CFs. That's fine. I do want them to be prioritized when we're using them. Although maybe we don't have to set the low threshold quite so low. I'd rather have this run for a short time. That seems fine. Oh, we have a sage hatch. Doesn't sage hatch eat, like... Slime, algae, dirt, fertilizer, polluted dirt. I don't think I want to feed any of those things to a hatch. But it's just kind of stuck on this level, not starving to death, just because it's a wild animal. I wonder if it's giving us coal or not. Confined, glum. Well, now it's happy. But when it walks over here, it's confined and glum? I guess? Yeah, when it walks into the doorway. It's kind of strange. Alright, how are we doing? Still 415 degrees? How are we not... How is this not getting cooler? Judging by the steam, it is getting cooler. Hmm. The metal tile's getting hotter. This tile is getting hotter. Which means this room must be getting cooler. Just much more slowly than we'd like. Hmm. How can I speed this up more? I could drop some ice in there. Honestly, I think that's worth a try. Let's do a storage bin. Make it out of igneous rock. And we'll fill it with ice. Liquifiable ice. 20 tons. Max priority. I think there's a container here for ice or something. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also max priority. Let's drop it slightly. And then... They're already picking up a bunch of ice. Fantastic. I thought I'd have to get them to dig some out, but I guess... Yeah, I don't think there's that much ice we can ask them to pick up. Uh, let's dig this out. Not before I put down some... deodorizers, though. Uh, 
What is that? Polluted water. Uh, let's see. Deodorizer. And dig through here. How are you... How do you have irritated eyes if you're wearing a spacesuit? Must be from before. Oh, it's already mostly full. Fantastic. And this thing's working. It's already got sand. Fantastic. Alright, let the polluted air through here. And put the ice in here. Fantastic. Now, deconstruct it. And I want to disable this drop-off. Is someone going to flick that? There we go. Mr. Ray, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Mr. Ray Ray, who's suffocating? What are you doing? Maybe I should put a temporary uh, spacesuit thingy here. So they stop getting irritated eyes. Uh, before I do that, I want to move our lead storage. Let's take some nutrient bars. Fantastic. Hurry up and build this so I can copy settings. They're not going to do it till the morning. How much ice do we have up here? Uh, about 20 tons. 18 tons. Close enough. Actually, I wonder if that's terribly irresponsible. Why can I find out? I hate names first. What? Twist DP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The storage bin itself is 300 degrees. It's actually dropping kind of quick. All right, let's see what happens here. Ice is negative 15.2 degrees. Dropping surprisingly slowly. What the hell? Um, I can honestly say this is not what I was expecting. Negative 15.1. Maybe I shouldn't have put this much ice here. 18 tons. That's like 18 tiles of water. What if we have another pressure disaster? It can't be as bad as high pressure, thousand degree steam. Had? Okay. Why did... Didn't we just mop this? What keeps happening here? That's so weird. Is there steam right here? There is. And it's just getting cold enough to drop to water. If we don't keep mopping this, we might end up with a tile of water here that's like too much to get rid of. Four point three cycles till next dormancy. Fantastic. 
There's our heat down here. That's much better. That's what I want to see. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Copy settings. Bam. And then we can decon these two. And throw in yet another pair of Atmo suit thingies. We're only going to let one person in here at a time, but that shouldn't be that big of a deal, I think. I wish they wouldn't stop what they're doing halfway through. Oh god, oh no. Um... Uh, how is there still ice in here? We have 18 tons of ice in the middle of a bunch of liquid magma. Um... Seems legit? Well, uh, maybe... Maybe we cleaned this up a little bit too much before... The next dormancy. We're about to find out what happens when 18 tons of ice hits zero degrees in the middle of a bunch of magma. Which takes a surprisingly long time, but there's only 8.8 .8 degrees to go. Now this is science, indeed. 8 degrees... Uh, let me just jump down here and get this part done. So they can stop getting... I guess that's fine for now. They can stop getting sore eyes from this. We might need to make another Atmo suit. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll be getting some more steam power. That's nice. All right, negative 4.5 degrees. Negative 4. Negative 3.5. Negative 3. Negative two. And there it is. Way too much steam at much too high a temperature. Again. Oh no. So we're basically back to where we started from. Uh, dropping the temperature in this room. That's not great. At least we've already got the hydrogen making the rounds. And it wasn't quite hot enough to destroy these gas pipes. So that's nice. 3.4... Erupts in 14.4 cycles, but next dormancy is 3.4. So we've done our last eruption uh, for this period. Wait, should I leave that there? The uh, igneous rock? Probably not, right? It's probably not going to conduct as well as steam. Let's see. Thermal conductivity 2. Steam... Thermal conductivity 0.184, that's actually much, much lower. Maybe I shouldn't dig this out for now. Compared to the steam, this is like a row of metal tiles. Yeah, no, I think that's fine. 
That'll actually drop the temperature in this room faster. Uh, you know what else I could do? Is build a row of metal tiles. Let me just prio this. We'll get rid of those once we've sorted all this out. Or I could leave them there. Nah, it's fine. We already need a valve to not let the heat into the steam room too quickly. So I don't think in the long run we're going to want extra metal tiles to conduct faster. Why are we out of power? Oh. I think this melted. Yeah, I think the lead here melted. <laughs> Alright. Uh, conductive wire bridge made out of steel. Fantastic. What if I had, like, a gas release valve up here that was slow somehow. Hmm. This hydrogen is down to 200 degrees. That's kind of a good sign. Or is it? Probably not, actually. Alright, here we go. This will hopefully... Why are you getting scalded? I guess the Atmo suit isn't that unbeatable. Go get healed. Should be doing that automatically. Fantastic. Good mod. Basically causes the dupes to treat the uh, the, the dupe behavior with the triage cots to work the way I expected it to in vanilla. Whereby as soon as they're below whatever percentage we set this to... Whoops. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Hey, Dara. Are we out of beds? Uh oh. Or was Kedara healing someone? But yeah, uh, the dupes will run to this bed once they're below 100%. Um. Which is kind of how I expected it to work in vanilla. You can set whatever percentage you like. But I'd rather they are overly cautious than the other way around. Ready perfectly. Maybe I should have different settings for these two, so they're not just switching off and on it. No, 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 it's fine. It's a fine. Alright, there we go. Heat transferring through the metal nice and fast. And we should probably go back to what we had before. Uh, make this unconditional temporarily. To just suck up the hot steam as quickly as possible. Could I set up a switch to make that happen more easily? I'd need like a one-way piece of wire, like two knot gates or something. Hmm. 
Hurry up and deke on these. There we go. Unconditional steam turbines. Oh, and there's that water explosion. Alright. Which means it's about time... This looks very weird and cool. Uh, which means it's about time to put in some pumps. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That actually got things sorted faster than I thought it would. Alright, gas pump is going to go up here. If I put it here, I think it'll be powered. And liquid pump. Right about here. We should be able to put it straight into the steam room. Oh. So now I suddenly already want these steam turbines to stop. Hurry up. Because we want to keep that steam hot so that when we pump water in here it flashes to steam. Wait, where did all this water go just now? It's already... Wait, how is it steam again? What just happened? Uh... Okay, whatever. Either way, we'll get that fluid out of here. Maybe I should filter gas and put the steam in here. No, that's probably going to end up being too much. What a mess. Again. How did all of this suddenly become steam again? Was it when we deconned the metal tiles? And if so, why? try pumping this. No, I think that's going to be way too much steam. I need that ice for camping? Bubbling? Wait, what? How is the steam down here so much colder than the steam up here? Maybe we should have metal tiles all the way up here. Actually, that probably would have prevented the explosion that we had to begin with. It's not going to affect any of this stuff, right? Yeah, no, I think we sh probably should do that. So if it gets cold enough to become water, we'll put it in here. Otherwise, we'll just pump everything out this way, I think. It's cold enough now that it's not going to, like, melt the steam turbines or something. Uh, we will need 
a high pressure vent. There happens to be one right here. Meowgamin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you listen to music or you just don't translate it to Steam? Wait, what? <laughs> what I just wrote? <laughs> bit tired or something? Just don't put it on stream. Yeah, I'm just a bit... Uh, well, there's two things. I'm a bit paranoid about getting hit with a copyright strike. Um, or something like that. But also, I feel like... You should be able to pick what music, if any, you want to listen to while you're watching a stream. Right? Um, we still have, like, black stuff here. I thought we'd be able to see something. But I, I guess we'll just... Head down this way? Alright, get that gas out of here. What's the worst that could happen? It's only 100 degrees hotter than... Uh, the air in this place? Just dropping some hot water down the middle of the base. What could go wrong? Let's take some algae, why not? How's our food? Really, really good. We probably could afford another dupe. Operating, wrenching, supplying, agriculture, strength, machine. You know, I really haven't felt a deficit in any type of labor. So I think we'll just wait. If there was any music, we wouldn't hear ringing phones or neighbor's dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, did you just say it's too hot in here? You're wearing an Atmo suit. It's only, it's less than 200 degrees. What? Whatever. And what are you doing? Sitting idle and looking unhappy about sitting in water? Why don't you sit idle somewhere else then? Oh, I should probably make this, like, uh... Uh... Mesh tile or something? Didn't realize that's how it lined up. Alright. Steam is down to 150. Cool, cool, cool. And next eruption... Uh, in 0.4 cycles, we'll know how long the dormancy is going to be. I think we're going to have time to fix this. Can we get rid of this water, or... Do we need to, like... I guess I could... Get rid of this insulated tile temporarily. Too much liquid, and it's not. Oh. Okay. That was that was weird. Now it's turning to steam. All right. Put that ceramic tile back. Hopefully, we won't need to worry about that again. Kind of weird how we're pumping gas and out comes water. No big deal, though. What's the problem here? Fertilization. 
Oh. We don't have dirt? Oh god, but we don't have dirt. Um... Mineral? How do we look for dirt? Organic? Probably... It's algae... Uh, are we out of dirt? Was I supposed to set up a, uh, fish farm already? We did set up a fish farm. We're getting polluted dirt from our two fish. How tame are they? Uh, 51% wild, 36% wild. Cultivatable soil? Cultivatable so There it is. Alright, so this is dirt, this is dirt. Can we get a sizable chunk from somewhere? Probably not. That's clay. What is up with all this? Not enough materials, sandstone. How did we run out of sandstone? You lose when everyone die, you don't say. Eat tree cottontail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Lonesome Road, welcome also. Never seen this design before. Thank you, I think. Doka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And we continue to pump out steam. There's still 264 kilograms per tile, though. Made a mess? Now what? Why are our toilets not working? They should be working. What the hell? Output pipe full. Oh, God. Why is the polluted water full? That's not what I was expecting. Um, shouldn't we be converting, awaiting deliv delivery filtration medium? Don't tell me we don't have sand or something. We have 235 tons of sand. So they just... What? Never... Nothing changed, but they never delivered sand here, even though we've had plenty of idle time for the water sea abs to run. What the actual... Errands. Life support supply to water sea ev. You're joking. That's actually my fault. Oh god, I forgot to... Oh, no. That's unfortunate to say the least. Suit out of oxygen, indeed. I did remember to power it. Okay. That's a lot of messes to clean up. Uh, 
And polluted oxygen everywhere. How's this cleanup going? This at least seems to be working. Two hundred and well, let's check the far corner. Two hundred and sixty-seven point three kilograms. Uh, let's say worst case, this room has like sixty-four tiles times two sixty-seven. Seventeen thousand? And we're pumping 500 grams per second. Which is actually only half of what this pipe can tolerate. Why don't we double this? What did I say? 17,000. Ignoring the fact that it's going to slow down. Uh, that's going to be 17,000 seconds. 283 minutes or 4.72 hours. Except that we are running the game a bit faster. No, don't... Hmm... Why can't you just finish the job before you go? It's kind of scary how one little thing can cause chaos, indeed. Fu Baron, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In this case, uh, I did calculate how much steam this room should be able to tolerate. But when we put the water in beforehand... Uh, Basically, when the heat did come through, somehow I didn't have these tiles of steel before. Uh, somehow we ended up with like three and a half tiles worth of water on one tile right here. And then there was just an explosion of pressure from steam and it went straight through the wall. And we've been trying to clean it up ever since. Could we... Pretty please get this done sooner rather than later so that the massive amount of time that we need to wait for this is reduced. How many cycles do we have? Next to dormancy, zero seconds. Uh, shouldn't it tell us next active period? Like what? Huh? You can block the volcano with coal plate? Coal plate? Do you mean like... Like a temp shift plate made of coal? Really? Why does that work? I forget which tile. It's probably the same tile that if we didn't, don't dig it out, the vol volcano won't work, right? But like, we're only a cycle or three into dormancy, but it says next dormancy zero seconds. Uh, and it's not telling us when the next active period is. What the hell? It says it erupts in 9.6 cycles, but like, it should be dormancy time. Well, I guess we can, I was going to say we can try to sort this out in 10 cycles, but realistically, no. Are we out of coal again? No. What's wrong with our power? Too much... 
Wait, what? That looked weird. Too much, uh... Domo Aquatuna. Oh, this is finally up to 87 degrees, at least. We can finally get this battery working, eventually. I usually pump cold water into the room to cool it down. I did drop a bunch of ice in there. Uh, it didn't help as much as we might have thought. Actually, we'd sort of already sorted everything out, and then when I removed the metal tiles that I had along here to conduct heat quicker, suddenly everything was hot again. Like, way hotter than expected. Maybe I should have left the metal tiles there for longer to cool down to like 200 degrees. But yeah, we've now got a whole pipe of gas, that is 10 kilo per second coming out. About 256 seconds per tile. Uh, about 62 times 256. 15,872, 1,587 seconds, uh, 26 minutes? Did I calculate that right? That's nowhere near as long as I thought it was going to be earlier. Do I need to just, like, save and load the game to make this display work or something? It's it's said next dormancy zero seconds for a long time. Wait, is it going to get one more eruption in before this like, dormancy triggers? Is that how that works? Liquid pump can carry more than gas pump? That's a good point. How fast does this go? 10 kilograms per second. Well, that's... The pipe would still bottleneck to 10 kilograms per second. We'll do, we'll do two gas pumps instead. I did make these out of steel, so uh, their molten temperature is going to be higher than what comes out of the volcano. But I really want to get this steam out of here before... Before we add a ton of heat here. Why are we sometimes dropping lots and lots of water down here, and then it disappears here as if it was flashing to steam, which it's not? That's really strange. Or is it just the way it animates? I'm guessing it's just the way it animates it? We keep having idle dupes. I'm really not looking for more dupes right now. Not until we get certain certain milestones achieved and then we can start going faster. Did we even get... Okay. Critter egg. Hatch. Where is hatch? I just want regular hatch. Hatchling egg. There we go. I could have sworn I marked at least one hatch for wrangling over here. Like this guy.
It's dropping too far? Let me see. Yeah, I don't know where these, like, long streams of thick water are coming from. It's kind of strange. Oh, we finally opened all this up. And we have another neural vacillator. Any volunteers? It's dropping from the ice melting? Maybe? I guess that's possible. 162 kilograms. heck is this animation? Oh, carbon dioxide keeps freezing and then melting? That's kind of neat. <laughs> That's so weird. One sixty oh no, sorry, two hundred and forty three kilograms still. Bruh, it's gonna take so long. I think we're gonna find out whether we like it or not. Uh whether this cold temp shift plate blocks magma from coming out for some reason. So why coal? Coal solid. Uh, additional states refined carbon solid at 276 degrees. Is that what's going to happen? It's going to turn it into refined carbon? Like a tile and block it? And refined carbon has a melting point of 4326, which is uh, significantly, massively above the temperature of magma. All turns into refined carbon, and when the material transforms, it creates a tower. Perfect. Very neat trick. All right. So I guess we're at the point where we're just waiting for quite a while before we can reset this whole thing. We should probably work on some other projects in the meantime. Like, same thing over here, but don't mess it up this time. Um, we're going to need some power over there. I guess... Run our... Who's getting scolded? How are you getting scalded? What are you carrying? Steel? Are you carrying super hot steel? From the super hot steel room? And you're still holding onto it while you get scalded? Oh no. Did you just build that to make that unreachable? Larius. Ah, good grief. Can't take you anywhere. Oh 
Okay. So we're going to have... How much lead do we have? 18 tons? We're going to have our lead wires coming over this way. Um, we want this to be a vacuum. We'll make this out of steel just to be safe. Um... And I'm going to want this to go up here for the steam turbines. And we will, of course, be needing a transformer. Probably just a smaller one. How many, how much power did we use here? 120, 130, what? It's like 240. Yeah, it's nothing. We can just do, use a regular transformer for this. And then we'll have some conductive wire through here. And that's probably fine. Have a vacuum in here, steam in here. I thought I was going to have a door up here. But no, this, this should be okay. Water will end up down here sometimes. I don't know if that's actually a problem. Oops, are dumb. Indeed they are. Very, very dumb. Alright, I need to make some more storages. We finally got a hatch in here. Groomed. Fantastic. Where's another one? Here we go. Wrangle and wrangle. Beautiful. How's our oxygen? Looks good to me. Still 232 kilograms per tile of steam to get rid of. Boop, 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 boop. I wish... I wish the game wouldn't lurch like that every single cycle. Especially at the autosave. Ooh, we got steam in here, which means our smart battery will start working soon. And we'll have a little bit of power as well. Alright, should probably tidy all this up. Should probably get rid of that bit of chlorine right there. in here, right? Yeah, we do. Decon it. There we go. Alright. They're not unhappy they're cramped yet. Nope. 
three out of 20 critters. I think they get unhappy at five, right? Let's set it a bit higher and we'll wait and see because I don't want to... I don't want to get rid of an excess that we don't have to get rid of. There we go. Still got idle hands, even though this needs doing. Where should we put our steam turbines? Oh, we have tons of plastic. I should start doing some better ladders. Uh, I imagine we don't need more than two steam turbines for the iron volcano. Come to think of it, I've only got three for the regular volcano. But I did leave room for expansion. One, two, and potentially three. I kind of want to center them around this thing. Um, one, two, and once again, I want to allow. I, I want to allow a little bit of passive cooling. Come to think of it, I guess it's not actually passive cooling if we're keeping this uh, at like 20 to 30 degrees most of the time. So I should probably change those to insulated pipes. And we'll keep more of the heat down in here. Uh, so in this case, we're going to want the coolant loop to come over here as well. That's going to be a little bit of a pain. Actually, no, it's not. I'll steal from this. We'll do some radiant pipe. Well, this part's not going to be radiant. Um, let's do insulated pipe over this way. And something like this. This part is insulated, or radiant rather. Get some bridges in there. It's going this away. So, like that. And then down here. Cool. Should probably do something about the germs over here. Oh, it's already too late. Uh, get some regular tiles. Suddenly we have access to 9k sandstone again. Some regular tiles to cover that slime. And that should be fine. How are we doing here? 224 kilograms remain. Can we prio the parts that are going to stop slime from continuing to accumulate here? Should probably do something about that as well. Oh, 
what a mess. Beep, 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 beep. It's actually not as far away from our base as I thought it was. Printing time? Um, I think we'll wait for now. Look at all of these 10 out of 10 drawings. Why are some of these plants not growing? Body temp. Just over 30 degrees. Should probably run our coolant loop through it. I don't think we're using this anymore. Let's see. Run that through there. And this up. Well, how about this goes here? Nice, cool, 27 degree. Not that cool, but cool enough. Uh, polluted water coming through. Also, that water that we dumped out of here apparently cooled things down a little bit. Holy crap, that's bright. That's a lot of shine nymphs. Is it counting the shine nymphs in here? Groomed? Aww. I didn't realize we'd made an accidental uh, shine nymph farm. What do they eat again? Uh, bristleberry. Doesn't this mean they're gonna starve? Then how do we get so many? Kind of weird. Oh well. We'll leave them be, I suppose. 214 kilograms. This is going to take such a long time. I do really want to see if this erupts in 4.5 cycles. I haven't seen a bug like this before, so I'm guessing it's actually not a bug, and what happens is once next dormancy gets down to zero seconds, there's going to be one more eruption. Probably. Oh, this build is starting to look good. Can we please get this stuff removed? How are people idle if if it's not showing red for these sweeping jobs? Then why are you idle? It's not like people have refusal to sweep or store. Oh, it is full. Then why isn't it showing red? I guess that's the bug. Also, is that slime that no one's picking up? Don't tell me the slime storage is full. Uh, yeah, it kind of is. I guess that'll just have to stay there for now. What consumes slime again? can turn it into algae. We can feed it to mushrooms. We can feed it to oak shell. Senna's shell. Sage hatch. 
Hmm. I thought we had some other process that consumed slime. What's the chance of getting an oak pinch row? Zero percent dwells in ethanol. Polluted dirt, slime, and rot piles. They thrive in ethanol. The shells they leave behind after molting can be crushed into lumber. That's not what I'm looking for. The whole reason we have these guys is so that we can... Uh, so that we can get the lime for steel. Polluted dirt or rock pile. We can't feed them slime. Not until they transform. Hmm. Is there some other way to dispose of slime? Like, what if we melt it? Oh. Slime turns into dirt at 125 degrees Celsius. That's not that hot. Why don't we put it in a steam room? Let's try it. Does it work if it's inside a storage bin? Uh, copy. Copy settings. Wait, what are we storing here? Uh, not just slime. Let's just select slime once this gets built. All right, storage. Uh, we're looking for organic slime and nothing else. High priority. Current errand: Morpheus and Sigma Bean. Good job. There we go. Alright. The slime is getting hotter. Steam temp is... 170. And I believe it was 125 degrees, right? Just hot enough for a steam turbine to run. So is it going to, like, transform inside the storage bin? The germs are multiplying. I wonder if the heat will kill them. Storage bin itself is at 173 degrees, but it's covered in germs still. Zero surface germs. It's only the slime that's in there that has germs. 78 degrees? 79, 80, gonna grab some water, doing 87 it's gonna be a minute till we hit 125 but not that long should probably make one of those um what are they called automatic dispensers turns out if you just don't power these um the dupes will still use them 
I can't remember what powering them actually accomplishes, now that I think of it. If you don't power it, the dupes will drop stuff off into the automatic dispenser, and... Uh, and stuff will come out of it. I'm guessing if you want to... No, my guess would be if you give it automation wire, it would still work like this. What does powering it accomplish? Or do you need power to run it with the automation? Manual control opened. Hmm. Number go up. Stream, indeed. Seru, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. 101 degrees. It's getting hotter slow, uh, more slowly now, but the difference is like, there's like 50 degrees more here than we need, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Just another 22 degrees, and maybe it just instantly turns into dirt. In that case, also, there's way more dirt, uh, potential dirt, in the world than I've realized before. Powered, it will store items without auto-dropping to the ground. Oh, okay, so you need to power it to have it hold onto things conditionally. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. Greater Nader? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where are we? 109.5. How about our steam emptying project? We're below 200 kilograms per tile, at least. And the steam isn't that hot. Yay. Can we... Sweep this away as well. Also, why is this not powered? Oh, no no power consumers. That's fine. Uh, let's put in our airlock doors. And start emptying... This place. Come to think of it, uh... I'm going to want to empty both of these rooms. So we'll just have the one gas pump here. Um, you know what, just to be lazy, I'll put it here. Until we're ready. And then, once again... High pressure output. So we can definitely get rid of all the gas in here. We're going to want to put a little water in here. This time I won't put the water in until this is nice and hot. That would have prevented disaster last time. Alright, uh, what are we printing? Citrus spandex. Sure. Who's going to wear it? Can I click on it? What? There it is. Decor 40. Nice. Move in. Go ahead and wear the fanciest suit we have. Did he pick it up? I think he did. Where's, where's Boovim? Boovim. Can we see... Can we see the spandex? Hello. I don't think he's wearing it yet. Where is it? Yeah, no, it's still here. He's not bothering to get it. Move him. That was a lot more pee water than I 
thought it would be over here. Whoops. What's the problem with these trees? Oh, I think it's... It's actually temperature this time. One more place where we need to do a polluted water loop. To cool down our plants. Just like that. And then cut this off. And we could probably get rid of those uh, bridges and stuff. As long as I finish this quickly. Slime at 123.5 degrees. Perfect timing. 124. Glad I didn't miss it. 124.7, 8, 9. And it's gone higher. Does it need to be sitting in the environment to become dirt? Does it need, like, two or three more degrees to change states? Them waterfalls be nice looking, indeed. 128 degrees, and it's still slime. Oh! Oh. I... I wasn't expecting that. But that works. We just have to add a Rovo Miner. Cool. So there is 1.3 tons of dirt. Nice. I'm glad it didn't, like, destroy the storage bin or something. Old Busk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we look at the temp overlay for the base? Sure. Um, here it is. Anything in particular we, you want more detail for? If I recall correctly, there's a plus or minus two degree margin. Yep. Indeed. So now we've got 24 tons of dirt. So now I want to set up something... Should be easy, actually. If we put... Oh, actually, experiment time. Um, I'm going to put another... Where is it? Automatic dispenser. What's the overheat temperature for this? It doesn't have one. So it literally doesn't matter unless it melts. We're in ringing time. No one's supposed to call this phone. It has to be a scam or telemarketer. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah, there's no overheat temp for this. Why... oh, I disabled this, apparently. What is that phone, 20 years old? Quite likely. Uh, it's only here because 
we're supposed to have like an emergency phone. I I've unplugged it before, but people go and plug it back in. What if they can get you a great deal on a Nigerian prince? <laughs> Indeed. Maybe I should just unplug it before the stream starts. I don't think people are going to be busybody enough to find it and plug it back in at that time. Alright. Uh, we don't need power for this. Suppressed current. Organic slime. And we're already at 200 degree steam. So... This should pretty much instantly turn into, uh, into dirt. What are you doing? Oh, it's through here. Didn't really mean to do that yet. It's fine. Grab that slime. Toss it in here. There we go. So this should turn to dirt faster, I imagine. It it'll gain temperature faster. I still expect it to turn... What, what are you do? No. Uh... I forgot the reason that I set up this automatic dispenser down here, uh, in a place where... Wait, how did I set this up? It drops ice in, and then... what? What's to stop them from picking up ice from here? You know, apart from the ice melting, but that doesn't happen that quickly. It's been a hot minute since I last heard a landline, indeed. Set to sweep only. Ah, thank you. Okay, sweep only. Perfect. So we got a bunch of slime in this room. It's at 50 degrees now. It's definitely getting hotter faster than... This one's actually getting hotter faster than this one, I think. Um, but it's definitely getting hotter... Probably because the cold water is exchanging heat ever so slightly over here. Whatever the case. Um, we're already up to 63 degrees. Looks smaller in mass, that's probably it. That's probably the main reason. 186 kilograms versus 700. Yeah. So I'm guessing this turns into a tile as well, even though it's uh, just stuff sitting on the ground. Or maybe it has a chance to turn into a tile, like with magma. Whatever the case, um, we'll be able to just build a robo miner in here. Um, and that sh should be fine, right? Oh, and we can power it, but I don't want to. When does it consume the 60 watts? Is it all the time? I think I'd rather just go around. Disable disinfect as these geniuses will keep doing that. Good point. Where, where is disable disinfect? There it is. Well, now, in case they finish the Robo Miner quickly, I have to watch this. I want to see it anyway. We're up to 93 degrees. Constant drainage when it receives a green signal. Okay. All 
All right. I think it's time to link these and let our polluted water loop go and cool this down, even though that's not necessary just yet. Ninety nine point five one hundred. Have the wiki open, indeed. Just bought this game and learn am learning all the tricks, indeed. Sweep this away. So many quality of life mods, I'm sure. How did you get slash why did you make the waterfall? Um, I think it's from ice melting up here or something. I mean, I am... It's also because I'm pumping steam out of this room... But I don't think that accounts for quite the volume of water we're seeing falling down here. Like, we've got a constant trickle here, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just weird the way it animates or something. Pumping steam out of a room, then it condenses? Yeah, but it condenses up here, right? It's not like there's steam down here, it's all here. And we just see a trickle at this point. Pulls on the tile below, then overflows? Oh my goodness, look at that! Uh, that's kind of strange. That's really strange. It's coming from here as well? I guess that's flowing down this way? It just animates really strangely. So it's not intentional, thought you had a grand plan? No, not quite. Just fancy waterfall? Mop up the pee water and it might stop? Do we want it to stop? How's this build looking? Uh, I thought we had this slime swept. Oh, I almost missed it. What are we up to? 110 degrees. Seems good. And our P water loop seems to be doing its job over here. Fantastic. Right. Yeah, no wonder we didn't miss it. Oh, the steam temp has dropped. Surprisingly, by a not insignificant amount. Is it because I built stuff in here that, like, the materials were at a lower temperature? Well, now we're just going to have to wait a while. I'm really surprised we dropped like 14 degrees in here though. That's a bit shocking. Liquid do weird stuff in Oni, indeed. I would say all fluids do actually. Let's mop this and see if it changes something. I thought we did mop this earlier, but let's see. Why it is because of the stuffs and the Draco? Stuffs and the Draco. I don't understand. Alright, we're back to 165 kilograms. 
And it's still taking its sweet time getting pumped out. I mean, we're still doing 10 kilograms per second, but um, there's a lot to go. And then it's going to slow down when the pressure's lower. In the steam room? Oh, this room? Because of the stuffs and the Draco. The Draco's been in here a while. I'm surprised it's still alive, actually. Livable range up to 110. We're above 110. And the temperature in here has been above 110 for a while. Wait, is this one wild? I think it is. Is it, like, immune to the steam because it's wild? Maybe I should wrangle it or something. Uh, I don't think we allow regular Drekos in here at the moment. I could make an exception. Let's let's rescue this poor wild Draco. Unless we've already reached our quota here. No, we're good. Well, don't just leave him there. Kristoff game, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now it's down to 90. Wait, did the slime get up to 100 before? Probably not. I thought it did. Whatever, it's fine. There we go, we get some TLC. Alright, how's this build looking? I think we need to start thinking about getting some water in here. I guess I'll let this get sucked out first. Please get rid of the slime. And I still need to add uh, all of this stuff. We need a Robo Miner, an Auto Sweeper, and some stuff to manage the Auto Sweeper. I think we've already got enough steel to do all of that. So let's start with... Uh, where is it? Shipping? Robo Miner... Sweeper. The sweeper's gonna have to... Why don't we move this over a bit? Sweeper... I kind of want the sweeper to be able to reach everything that could be in this room, but never mind. It's fine. Uh, conveyor loader. And then conveyor chute, conveyor rail. You know, just for science, I'm going to try just controlling this by controlling the conveyor chute. So we'll skip the uh, conveyor shutoff this time. I'd have to put it here, I guess. That's okay. If we change our mind. We'll need some steel power. We'll need some automation wire. Preferably made out of steel. Uh, we're going to need a thermo sensor. If this is only going up to 200, lead should be fine. And where did we need the knot gate? Oh, that was for the 
convey a shut off. So how does this work? Enable, disable, and open, close. Yeah, I think that's going to be the same. So we're going to have our not gate right about here. Automation wire like so. Actually, I doubt we're going to need more than two steam turbines. So, put the temperature sensor closer to the middle. It's going to be, how many tiles is this? 13 tiles, so this is the middle, right? Yes. Right in the middle. That's going to go directly to the steam turbines. Uh, also directly to this thing. Actually, I guess this will look a little bit better. And a knock gate to this thing. That's pretty neat. Converting slime to dirt, indeed. Why are you putting the Robo Miner in? Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure when the slime gets hot enough to become dirt, it's going to create a block, just like it did up here. Uh, the only difference is that we're using a automatic dispenser instead of a storage bin. Um, but I, I doubt that's going to make a difference, right? Why are we scolding in here? Oh, because we're carrying hot steel? Yeah. Also, did I consider the shape? Yeah, I kind of did. We're going to be needing some conduction panels, because this is going to be a vacuum, and we have some buildings to keep cool. Um, and that's just going to be... Polluted water, like so. Easy enough. We could probably dig this away so they have a shorter path. We're down to the milligrams. Well, on this side we are. Fantastic. I'm not quite understanding what the setup here even is going to be. Uh, so the room with the volcano is going to be a vacuum. Molten stuff is going to come out. Uh, and it's not going to instantly turn into solid because there's no gas in the room. It's going to be liquid. Down the bottom here... What's this made out of? Ceramic. Down the bottom here... Um, let me just double check. These are all made out of ceramic, right? Yes. Good. Uh, it's going to exchange heat with this metal tile made out of steel. By opening and closing this door, we're going to... Uh, allow or disallow heat to be conducted up this way. And this is going to be our steam room. Um, and when the stuff cools down enough to become uh, like solid iron, we're going to grab it, 
Wait, we're going to dig it out with the Robo Miner, and we're going to... Come to think of it, we probably don't need a Robo Miner on this one. I guess we'll find out, and we can always remove it. Um, but we're going to basically pick up the... Um, the iron with the auto sweeper and put it in this room. And we're going to control when we do or don't drop the iron into this room. Uh, based off the same logic as when we open or close this door. Because the iron is going to be really hot, it's going to bring heat into the steam room. We want to keep the steam room at about 200 degrees. Um, so we get that steam turbine efficiency, but also we're going to limit the throughput of heat from this room into the steam room uh, without automation. The miner unblocked that volcano? Uh... Uh-oh. Let's analyze it as quickly as possible. Also, let's grab a whole temp shift plate. Why don't make it a 10 by 10 steam room or whatever? Is it too much heat output? Yeah, this way we can control the heat throughput to the steam room. It's not dormant? Uh oh. Yeah, I was wondering where that granite came from. You know, I, I think if we put this here now, uh, that room's gonna... This room is gonna be vacuum a little bit sooner. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Well. Um. We know when it's gonna erupt. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Oh no. I think they can build the rest of this without, um without any problems. There's hardly any gas left, so... That's a very bad time to run out of power. Where's our power? We do have power, what the hell? But yeah, we're down to the milligrams of gas, so... Oh my god, Boovin, what are you... Why you gotta stand in molten iron? Oh, we already got some refined iron out of this. It's rather hot, though. So is that granite that you just picked up. Alright, there's our power back at least. Don't pretend you've never had the urge to touch lava and stuff. Can't say I did, actually. Oh, uh... I forgot I queued this up, but yeah, that's a good idea. How hot is it in here? Pretty hot. Good thing I made this out of steel. What? Why would you go in there and then jump out? Just to get scalded more? I think he... No? 
I literally set the threshold to go get healed at a like below a hundred percent. Would definitely be easier if they had spacesuits in here. Did iron just drop out of well, we've got our refined carbon now. Fantastic. Oh, and I unpowered the Robo Miner. Kind of important. Hmm. I wish I didn't have to build, like, checkpoints and stuff just to tell them not to come in here without a spacesuit. I guess we can do that. Uh, I don't want to have to bring oxygen all the way over here. I could block this off and put an Atmosuit checkpoint up here, actually. That's going to be by far the easiest way to do it. If they have any business here, they're going to grab a checkpoint, but whatever. And um, just just decon these ladders. Then we're gonna need another Atmo suit, probably, unless I already queued up some extra ones. Still got a hundred and forty-four kilos in here. Alright, we're down to less than a thousand milligrams, less than one gram, at this end. Toilets? Oh no, what now? Uh, no seriously, what now? Someone's stuck somewhere, aren't they? Uh, Kidara, Sigma Beam, Boovim, Ray Ray, I Am Suck, Philip B. What? Oh, this is the bottom lot. Sloda, Morpheus. Glacier Wolf, Bojee Bum, Cavern, Larius, Evil Plow. Why? Why does it say someone urgently needs to use the bathroom? If the bathrooms have water, the output is empty, and no one is stuck. If you click on the germ icon top left, you can cycle quickly through them. The germ icon. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone's about to make a mess. Grab a snazzy suit. Give it to Philip B. That polluted water is back again. We definitely mopped it up. This is taking such a long time to empty. Good gravy. Oh. 
Wait. Oh, we still have the temp shift plate. Cool, cool, cool. Now it says dormant. So it goes next activity, zero cycles. Then it says next, uh, next eruption, but there isn't actually an eruption. And then it's next activity. We've still got 48 cycles to fix this. False positive? All four toilets in use, and because they share a single line, they are blocked? But we're fine, though. Alright, so there's only one way over here, and we have an Atmo suit. Fantastic. Now they can stop getting scolded by this place. Alright, conveyor loader is going to pick up iron. I mean, I could have it pick up everything, but no, I think we're fine. On second thought, I don't want anything other than iron to be done here. Um, yeah, literally just pick up everything. Did we finish this? There's still CO2 in here. We're down to 5 milligrams... 200 over here. If you put a single line over the outputs, all consecutive outputs are blocked until the last one is cleared. Uh, I guess. Do we have room to... Yeah, we do. We can fix this. There we go. Looks a bit messier in the background, but what are you going to do? I don't think drywall is going to do what I would like it to do here, but we can try. Yeah, no. We can still see the pipes. Looks more like a bathroom, though. Put picture over it? There's no room. Actually, is there room? Uh, no. No, there is not. Unfortunate. I'm surprised the... sink counts as being so tall. Just as tall as the, uh lavatory, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three. Yeah. What the? Somehow I placed a couple of them overlapping each other here? Yeah, the graphic doesn't seem to suggest it, but the sinks are just as tall as the lavatories. We can, however, put in some... Uh, moldings, at the very least. Seems a good. Decor plus ten. Huh. I never realized drywall has plus decor. If we make it out of granite, it'll be plus 12. Sandstone. Ceramic as well. Hmm. I guess we'll flood the base with drywall. Can I paste over it with uh, granite? Oh, I can. Much to my surprise. Of 
cool. I don't think we need to worry too much about these three plants anymore. Let's, uh... Let's put some regular tiles here. Careful not to paste over wall tiles? What do you mean? I was deliberately pasting over wall tiles. To put granite. Glacier Wolf, Lead Geek. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, did we get this finished? We're still waiting for the gas to go away, but it's down to less than 5 grams at this end. Or slash ceiling tiles, they will deconstruct to make a drywall. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not really going to be a problem. We could put some plastic tiles in here. Decor plus five, that's only the same as a regular tile. But they do move faster. We only have enough for 25 tiles. I think uh, we won't go too over the top with that just yet. Uh, but plastic ladders, on the other hand? I'd, I'd say we definitely have enough to save some duplicate travel time. It The only thing we have to be careful of is plastic melts. Uh, plastic solid, where is it? At 160 degrees. Well, we really don't want to get let our base get that hot anyway. That is way beyond the temperature we want to allow here. I wonder if a waterfall would have any practical application, like heat absorption? Maybe. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting close. 750 micrograms, 700, it's almost done. Did we turn this into dirt yet? Nope, our steam is only 112 degrees. We don't have enough battery to run our thermo aqua tuner all that much right now. To cool the polluted water loop as much. Why is this 50 50? Oh, because of this. But why? Because it comes back. Interesting. Oh, it, that is interesting actually. Yeah, we found a way to bottleneck this 50%. Deliberately, if we so desire. Very interesting. Alright, so once we have a vacuum here, um, these are going to keep these machines cool. You know where the water is falling, but it makes that solid line downward? Indeed. Falling stuff doesn't transfer heat. I'm also not sure anyone... Sure, any more if dripping water on equipment still does crazy heat management, probably fixed. Philip B, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can they get hit by the water when passing? I don't know. All right, 100 micrograms remaining. 107, 102, 94, it's really close now. Soon. We need to start getting water over here, actually. Probably should have thought of that sooner. Um... I 
just realized how much of a pain that's going to be. I don't have the three tiles high to use a uh, tap drop off, and there's pipes in the way everywhere. I guess we can just... Do it like this. For the moment. Once the gas is gone... I'm just taking its sweet time. It's actually really, really close to collapsing. There's a pretty solid petroleum boiler design that uses a waterfall for heat recovery. Nice. Oh, there it goes. I don't think our gas pump is going to get any more gas. I think we're at the point where it just sort of disappears. Yep, there it is. There's our vacuum. Alright, deep on the gas stuff. If we don't mess up, we'll never need that again. And then we need another airlock door here. What's this? Clay? That should be fine. 1400 degree iron. Oh, what are you... No. It's probably fine. Uh, do this. Sweep that. I just realized, you know what, I'll disable this Atmosuit checkpoint for the moment, because no one's going to go get scolded for now. But yeah, this is like a 10-man job, and we can only let one through at a time right now. There we go. Much faster. Yeah, I know, it's a hot door. I wish we could have a ladder that blocked water somehow. Also, can we sweep everything that isn't iron from here? Fantastic. Oh, and I haven't done a liquid output for our steam turbines. Which, come to think of it, uh, I think I want to put right here. So we may as well do it this way. Damsel, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Victor, Crazy Berto, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, we need some bridges. I almost forgot. This is just until we get our water in. Actually, what we really need, Ruru. <laughs> Indeed, we don't want to remove cooled steam. No, we don't. Um, I would prefer it a little bit if I could. Well, that should be easy enough. In fact, oh, I should have done this insulated to begin with. That can go there. That can go there. Is that going to be insulated now? No. Okay. 
insulated pipe. That's these two. And like this. Uh, I can go down here, actually. That should be fine. We'll just get rid of that when we're done with it. And then... That also stays in there? What do you mean? Also, let's make sure this isn't actually connected. Not even close. Fantastic. We'll connect that when we're ready. Hi, hi, damsel. Welcome in. How is the rest of your stream? I gotta let Doggo out. Fair enough. That looks weird. Oh, how's our first steam disaster doing? We're down to a mere 105 kilograms of steam per tile. That is a non-zero amount. Alright, we've got our power connection. We've got our automation connection. We've got a liquid connection, or we will. I want this crap swept up. Fantastic. Hax, you need to stop reading from bottom to top. <laughs> wait, wait, let me read that again. How many quintillion tons of water did you drop into that room? Hax, you need to stop reading from bottom to top, lol. Indeed. Uh, I didn't actually drop that much water in that room. I dropped way less than uh, one kilogram per tile. But somehow all of the water ended up, like three three tiles worth of water ended up on this tile. Gominola? Aru Gominola? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Also, sounds like a classic Australian thing to do. Uh, the, the the moment that we got a bunch more water in was actually when I dropped ice in here to try and cool it faster after the disaster. That's the water I was talking about? The ice water? I think it was like 8 tons. Or 20. I, I think it was 18 actually. Little Little oopsie. Why are you sitting idle when there's all these supplying jobs to do? Don't tell me that's unreachable. No, I, I have a mod to make it reachable. So what... Why... Okay, now they're doing things. Almost there... Alright, cool. That is reachable anyway. Indeed it is. Look, they just do a little bit and then stand around. It's the middle of the day. They're still standing idle. Bruh. What is going on here? So it assigns one dupe to, to these four, one dupe to these four, when we've got like eight dupes idle. Where is Mr. Ray Ray? Alright, what are we printing? Um, probably a shine nymph. Decreased agriculture. 
Operating, decorating, researching. No, I think we're good. One dupe to deliver the material, and the other one's waiting for delivery. I guess. Whatever the case, it's finally done. I think we're ready to put water in here now. And... I also want to analyze... Analyze this volcano. Oh, uh, let's reactivate our Atmo suit dock first. And start letting some water through. A bunch of it is going to flash straight to steam as soon as it touches this uh, very hot iron here. Although it's not that much volume. We're just going to snippy snip when the time is right. What the... Oh no! The liquid vent is on top of the automation wire. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Did not see that coming. From what I've seen or recently noticed, it calculates the carrying capacity and assigns X errands of that kind to one dupe. Yeah, normally that's a good thing. Why don't you use a automation bridge? Uh, I guess I could. Uh, this will look a little bit cleaner. Alright, prior is yes. Just make sure we're not going to get someone dibsing analysis before building. Can someone hurry up and do this, please? Anyone? Haven't got all day? I mean, we do, but the concern is the entire day will pass and no one will do it. Uh, just disable this building again. Wait, where did the... Where did the Atmo suit go? What? Where the bloody hell did the suit go? Alright, that's done now. Please pick up the steel and lead as well. Oh, I just realized. Um, do we really need to power the mechanized door? Probably not. And I don't really see the harm in it. But we don't need this. But yeah, that definitely shouldn't be lead. Okay. Budgie bum on the analysis. Much schnell bitte. Um, did we not remove the... Huh? Oh, we still didn't remove this. Well, there's your problem. 
Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. Go to bed, young lady? Not yet. Volcano funny? Indeed. Alright, did we build it finally? Is everything as it should be? I think so. There's some water, there's some steam. Let's re-enable our Atmos suit checkpoint. And get everyone out of here. Uh... Okay. As long as you don't get melted, it's fine. Stream was good, finally, to the point where I have easy access to steel, steam turbines, etc. So able to make good builds. Fantastic. This is by far my best playthrough for steel throughput. It is luxurious. How are you taming that? Um, so basically we have a vacuum room here which conducts heat to what will be a steam room up here or technically it already is a steam room oh it's trying to it's trying to erupt let's not have budgie bum trying to analyze it without a suit uh we've got what are they called conduction panels to keep these devices cool Auto Sweeper and Robo Miner. I don't know if we need a Robo Miner for an Iron Volcano. Um, but this would work for. Um, wait, did we just remove. When did we remove that automation wire? Oh no. Uh, basically, we shut the chute and we open the door when we don't want heat to transfer from here to here, and vice versa. So at 200 degrees, uh, that is when we will open this door. Oh, we're already way over 200. Holy crap. Better get the steam turbines running. Probably a good idea to put some more water in here. So it takes more heat to warm the room up. I hope that tile is steel, indeed. This tile? Yeah, it's steel. Yeah, so basically this is... Because there's no atmosphere, this is going to stay molten. Um, and when we get more molten coming through, it's going to touch this tile. And heat it very, very quickly. Heat is going to pass through the mechanized door, up the metal tiles, and into our steam room. When the steam reach... Oh no... Oh no. Uh, when the steam reaches 200 degrees... That's when we're going to allow the steam turbines to run. Uh, the door is going to open so we don't take more heat through. The chute is going to close so that we don't bring more heat through in the form of solid iron. And yeah, that's basically it. Now we need this fixed fronto. Technically, this room never should have got over 200 degrees, but like the initial burst of heat was a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, I'd say we can definitely let some more water through. Little by little, so nothing bad happens. And here's Budgie Bum doing science in the middle of Molten Eye. 
Good job, Bajiba. The most sensor melted, indeed. Ironic. Why is he feeling sick? Oh, is it heat? Get out of there. I want someone to build this anyway. Speaking of temperatures, um, our slime is still only at 117 degrees in here. I've been curious if magma would hurt them through the suits. I guess the answer is sort of. Yeah, I watched someone run some experiments with that, and it actually took like an entire day of sitting in magma for the dupe to get particularly distressed. Surprisingly enough. Why not just put the volcano in a steam room? That's what I've done in the past. But this way we get to manage the heat. So the volcano can spit out as much heat as it likes. Up to the point where it's blocked by its own output. Um, and we can siphon the heat off with 200 degree steam at our own pace. Uh, so we can actually store a bunch of heat in here um, to consume as we like. And we also don't have to worry about, you know, steel robo miner reaching 500 degrees when it peaks or something. Because there's no heat conduction through a vacuum. Good to know. Was Def worried about that? Indeed. If you make enough turbines, heat should not matter. That's the uh, that's the way I did it before, and it was still a bit of a problem with a regular volcano. Fractal Nebula, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why does this Prio Eight keep getting prioritized over these Prio Nines? Can we please get someone to do the construction work? Preferably before this thing erupts again, I really want to take this heat right here and put it into the steam room. Is there a concept of pressure so that there needs to be relief for the steam as it increases? Yeah, um, well, for one thing, you need to make sure that your steam pressure is below 1000 kilogram per tile because otherwise the water from the steam turbines won't be able to come out. Um, but also, really, really high pressure, and it'll explode, like, through tiles. Materials lacking again? No, we've got tons of steel. That's what this is made of. Okay. Um, if I cancel analysis, it's not going to lose progress. I should have just done that before. Oh, and we've really... Oh, I thought there was lead there. Refined carbon, that's fi probably fine. I was going to say we really need to get that lead out of there before it melts. Actually, I guess that wouldn't really be a problem. Wait, what just melted? Oh, there is lead here. Well, there you go. 628 degrees steam. That is not great. Please hurry up and finish this build. Larius. Finally. Okay. This needs to be above 200. Fantastic. And we might want to add some more water. Uh, I think I know what melted. It's not the most important thing. In fact, it's the opposite of urgent. The knot gate. So we're not going to be putting solids through there for a minute. Uh, but yeah, let's add a little bit more water to the mix. So we've got a higher volume of steam that needs to be heated up. So we can let heat through in a more controlled fashion.
What are we up to? Six kilograms per tile? It's probably fine. We really need to get it down to non-molten lead temperatures. If you are sending one red, one green signal on that wire, which one wins? Uh, the green signal. The red is the null signal. Right, there it is. I think that's our build working. Should we stop putting steam in? I mean water? I guess I could let this last little bit of water in. And then... Send this back where it belongs? Oh wow, that's a problem. Um, There hasn't been water going up here. Well, that's actually not a problem at all. But I would like to put it back into the loop if I can. That might actually be harder than I realized it would be. Let's just snip that for now. Sweet, thanks, T-Hacks. I like this build. It's different. Uh, I got the idea from you, actually. I learned it from you. Budgie Bum just can't get enough of that heat stress. Oh. Didn't we make this out of ceramic? Ceramic. 1849 degrees. Oh. Yeah, the ceramic got melted. It's regular magma now. Well then. Um, did I leave ceramic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of this. Except, doesn't that mean... We need to make this out of uh, obsidian, I think. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. If my insulated tile is made of ceramic, and ceramic's melting point is 1850, and this spits out 2500 degree molten, it's actually a lot hotter than the magma over here. Although much less volume. Um, but yeah, what's the melting point for obsidian? 2700... Okay, cool. cool. Let's replace these with obsidian for the ladders. We don't want dupes getting stuck there. <laughs> There's so many little details to get right with these things. Why, if we're only taking in like 200 degree steam, does this look so inefficient? Hmm. Very odd. I definitely could have put the airlock door up here instead of here. And then we wouldn't have water cooling down here as well. I really want to see this analysis done as well. Oh, speaking of which... Uh, next 
activity is in 40.2 cycles. I think we can get this done, I hope. We're down to 67 kilos of steam per tile. Pretty sure we'll get it sorted this time. And... Conveyor shoot. I kind of wanted to see if... If the closed conveyor chute with iron behind it would bring heat in. I imagine it would. But if we have multiple tiles of iron, I guess it would be significantly less. We've already got 875 tons out of this. Oh, kilos. 875 tons would be quite a lot, actually. How's our heat? Our machines here are cool as cucumbers. Fantastic. I don't think that little bit of magma there is ever going to melt. Uh, solidify, rather. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, the volume that we get per burst from this, I don't think we're ever going to really see a good demonstration of whether or not using the conveyor chute for the cutoff is a bad idea or not. Auto inputs enable disable on the conveyor loader. Or on the auto sweeper, we could definitely do it one of those ways. In fact, you could just connect all three of these that way, since, um... Since that already conveniently lines up. Mop it? Mop it. Oh god, I never thought of that. Um, no, I don't think we should. I, I don't think we will mop it, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, I think we greatly overestimated how quickly this would be giving us heat. Hmm. Maybe I should do some latch behavior? Where, like... We let the steam get to 210, and then run it till it's down to 200, or something? How would I do a latch? I know how to do a latch with decider combinators. Wait, is there a latch built into... I think we actually missed research. Yeah, here it is. Uh, signal select, uh, multiplexing is probably not what we need. Um, but to build a latch with these components? Not something I know how to do. We could just use buffer and or filter gates. That's what the current setup is. How do you get the cooled iron out? just dupes running in. Uh, it just drops here, so it's going to drop down to 200 degrees. I mean, I could do an, a longer conveyor that, like, lets the iron out over here as soon as it's cooled down to a chilly 200 degrees, I guess. Oh, it's actually really, really hot. 630. Hmm. I could add more steam to make it exchange heat faster. Hmm. I don't really want the dupes picking up 600 degree iron. We 
We could restrict them from going through this door. I think we have to add more stuff to have a cooling system. This whole area is going to get warmer, but we're running coolant through it all the time, so I guess it shouldn't be that bad. Also, why don't we have more polluted water? Where does the madness begin? Oh, it's this again. Yeah, I'm thinking... I should definitely make this run in shorter bursts. So we get less lengthy bits of gaps like this. Suit wearing, digging, researching... Suit wearing and researching... Um leads toward rocket piloting. Biohazardous decreased germ re resistance. I'm not a fan of that. Let's just get the gold, I guess. Currently they'd pick up about 200 degrees C at any time since that's what you set your steam room to, ideally, indeed. Um, but since all the iron drops under one tile, um, we get a ton of iron at high temperature instead. Yeah, I guess we really don't need the Robo Miner for this build. But better to build it and not need it. That is allowing quite a lot more heat through this time. Hmm. Oh, now we do have some... some iron not being let through. So the conveyor chute is at 254 degrees. It's fluctuating like crazy, actually. Hmm. What did we make it out of? Steel. Good. We barely need the metal conductivity. It's literally just to get the iron cool enough. Actually, come to think of it, if we made conduct... That's, that's conductive wire. Uh, if we made conduction panels out of steel, I guess we could lower the temperature of molten iron here? I don't think I want to do it that way anyway. Okay. I'm getting sick of these gaps in our coolant loop. Maybe... Maybe I should have another storage for polluted water. And somehow... How would this work? I don't think we need this uh, carbon skimmer here anymore, do we? Morbid dragon? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... How could I... I think no matter what configuration I use... Even if it's with multiple containers here, we're bottlenecking on one pipe here, and sometimes we're taking water away. 
Hmm. Oh. I think we basically just have to put the container on the other side, right? Or we could leave it where it is and reshake the pipes to uh, to have the same effect. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that's right. In fact, I could leave the storage that we've already got there just to have a bit of extra backup. So first priority is to fill the inputs for the water CFs. Second priority is to fill the liquid reservoir. And it goes through the liquid reservoir and comes out here. And... And the liquid CFs never let the reservoir get empty. So basically exactly what I already did, except that the reservoir comes after the CFs. Seems... reasonable. So we'll need a not gate... Over here. Just like that. Don't need this one. Copy settings from here to here. Can we hurry up and build this one, please? No? Oh my god, what a tease. Oh, did we get this analysis done yet? We did. Next dormancy, 61 cycles, erupts in 1.2 cycles. Cool, we're going to be getting a lot of iron out of this. And I do mean a lot. I think we pr probably should use a... Uh, conveyor shutoff in this room. And... Basically, let the stuff out of it as soon as it drops down to, like, 200 degrees. Conveyor, rail, thermo sensor. And make all of this out of steel as well. And after that, gold amalgam should be fine. Bring it along... Hmm. I don't really want it directly, uh... Heating up our steam turbines too much. It should be relatively cool by the time it gets here. I could put another shutoff over here, but... Well, no, that's fine. Let, what if we send it through the insulated pile? It would probably heat it up. Not sure if I want that. Let's bring it up this way. And then... Another thermo sensor? Right before I shoot, some automation wire. Uh, let's make it out of iron. 
We know it's not going to be molten iron. And... And we have plenty of iron now. Gonna need some power for this. Gonna be getting rid of the conveyor chute. Oh, we're out of steel. That's not great. But the 735 kilograms right here. How much does this cost? A hundred per tile? That's kind of rough. How's it going? Not too bad. Um, do I need to queue up more steel or something? No, this is green. Are we out of... Um, we're out of lime. Oh no. We do have a pretty good supply of lime, but... What did I miss? I hope everyone is still alive. Yes, indeed. Lucky 13. Uh, can I get my hands on some more lime somehow? Why can we find some more eggs? We get eggs out of the shine bugs. They're actually a bit of a lime factory. Don't pick up the don't wrangle the dense puffed. What does a dense puffed do? Turns oxygen into oxalate. Neat. Dig fossils in oil biome. Good good idea. Fossils. Hmm. Where can we get the easiest chunk of fossils from? Probably just down here, to be honest. Since our... Oh my god, you really came all the way down here just to stop. Also, where is your Atmo suit? Uh... Checkpoint is flooded. That is suboptimal. Okay then. Somebody mixed oil? Indeed. Okay. Probably need a mesh tile left side of the carbon skimmer? Maybe. We'll see. I don't really want to let the chlorine through, though. Here we go. And nothing. What the hell? What a way you like this. Um, how about, let's turn these into ladders. Can you mop up the salt water, maybe? I guess I probably am letting that chlorine through now. It's getting scalded. That's about what I thought. 
Just don't get too scalded, okay? You're supposed to go back and get healed, even if you're slightly hurt. How hot is it in here? It's only 71 degrees. Okay, they're starting to use the suits now, so... That's gonna work out a bit better. Could you... could you guys go back now? Actually? Since you're hurt... ...and on the wrong side of an Atmo suit checkpoint with no Atmo suit? Fantastic. And may as well grab that lead while we're here. Alright. Attribute increase. Nice. Good job, Sloter. Also, what should we be printing? Barbecue? Plant murderer, shabby dresser. We don't want a shabby dresser. Or a mouth breather. Nice and warm, indeed. What's happening right now perfectly describes why I'm nervous about my new petrol boiler build. Water dynamics so weird, indeed. Oh, here we go. Uh, automation wire, steel, mixer. Fantastic. Seems like we've got enough steel to finish the build now. Cool, cool, cool. You know the game can only have a gas or liquid on any given tile at the same time? Indeed. It's very weird. I mean, I get why they do it, but... I don't get why we still haven't reached like 125 degrees in here in such a long time. Oh. Uh. Well, that would probably help. Or would it? Actually, the steam turbines here never ran. So... How the hell did the temperature in here drop by 14 degrees? Because we brought 700... Like 1200 kilos of slime in that wasn't as hot? We've only got 200 kilos of steam per tile, so that might be it actually. As opposed to... 20 kilograms? What the hell? Uh, as long as it works, I guess. As long as it works. So this is going to be set to green signal if below 200 degrees. And can we prior that part so I can... Confirm we've got enough steel and stuff. That'd be nice. We've got multiplexing now. I doubt I'll ever be using these, but we have it. Okay. The aqua tuna isn't running? Yeah, a lot of the time it's not running because we don't have that much electricity. Um, that's... The, the conditions are temperature of the input, but also if we're not low on battery. Never looked at those? The multiplexes? They're a hell of a drug. 
even though I prioritized these, um, he's still prioritizing the conveyor rail on the outside. Hmm. So this conveyor loader, which is chilling at 24.5 degrees, is holding 200 kilograms of iron at 1485 degrees. That's kind of strange. There we go. Another trip or two and it should be done. When does this erupt again? Oh, 0.5 cycles. Let's go. Also, how is this repair doing? We are down to only 25 kilograms per tile of steam. Fantastic. Next activity, 33 cycles. I think maybe we can get this done. Get it fixed. Alright, that's going to take till at least tomorrow. Did we get more steel? We did. Why is there sedimentary rock here? Who knows? I see eggshells. I also see poker shell malts. How, how are there multiples of these over here if we're short on lime? Do I need to prio this? I probably need to prio it. Okay then. Why is your game title Mech Warrior? Oh no. I could have sworn I clicked the update button multiple times before I started the stream. Tho Tholu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hurry up. No, don't leave that there. Oh my goodness. Has it been supplied already? It has. He should have finished it on that trip. Bruh. Why is there, like... 300 kilos of steel down here as well. Oh well. Looks like we're ready to go. The iron is cooling much faster now on the conveyor belt than it does sitting here at high volume. It's still at 660 degrees, damn. Disaster cleanup will be a recurring thing, indeed. Alright, where is it? Uh, we're down to 290, 280, 270. This is pretty quick, actually, especially compared to... How rapidly we get stuff from the Iron Volcano. Although I probably should move it over so that we get a lot more tiles of conveyor rail before this. Um, I could expand it over this way, I guess. I don't want it to touch the metal tiles. Ooh, here it comes. Our first relatively cool iron at a mere 196 degrees. Hopefully it's not going to heat up the water that's headed over to cool the steam turbines by too much.
Uh... Wait, what? I thought this one was super hot because it let through two at a time. But actually, it's already down to less than 200. Oh, I didn't set this up, did I? Below, let's say 25 degrees. Which, it's obviously cooling off pretty quick with that water there now. That's, uh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. I think we need to speed up the cooling a little bit. Give me more steel. Insufficient resources. Poker shell malt. Small poker shell. What about fossil? Why is there no power? Why is there no power? Are we out of coal? No. Do we just need more coal generators? Possibly. Oh. We need to mop the carbon skimmer. As it turns out. That's going to give us a lot of polluted water. Nice. Oh, 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 and we need to set this up. Which we sort of already have, but I want... This to be about 75% full. And we snippy snip this. This is already really full, that's excellent. So now, when... What? Oh, you're carrying hot steel, aren't you? Uh, what was I going to say? What was I looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're going to manage the polluted water level over here. After we potentially go into the water CF. So we should always get a full pipe coming out this way. Now, if I could just figure out why it's moving slowly. That would be preferable. Oh, it's because we're adding more water. Yeah, I completely forgot we get cold polluted water directly from the geyser. That's good. So once this catches up, it should all start moving at full speed. Yes. There we go. I can live with that. That's fine. Must be nice, indeed. It is very nice. Very, very nice. Thanks for asking. Okay. I really need to get this finished. I should probably move the conveyor shut off over here. Uh, yeah, I really should. Let's, um... I might put it over... We can't put it in walls, right? No. I might put it over here, actually, so we get even more space. Even more tiles of iron cooling in the steam room. And then we need... 
a little bit more steel conveyor rail here. And gold amalgam. Oh, it would have to literally melt. I think it has the same melting temperature as gold. Gold liquid 106.3. Gold... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... This could probably all just be gold amalgam. Right? Oh, this part certainly could be. And then we decon this, decon this, decon these two. Just move them over. Having zero cold sources sucks, yeah. Steel coming along, you are out. Uh, we're just waiting for... it's actually just power. Because we've got fossils. That we can put into the rock crusher. How's this looking? 5.1 kilo. Soon. Alright, did we get our fossils down here? Yeah, we did. They just haven't been picked up. Um, I think... I think I will put a storage bin. You can make it out of fossil? Uh... You could just put it right here. Why not? What the hell else are we going to use it for? I'm going to put a storage bin for fossil. Oh wait, no. Um... How about this one? It's already not being used. We're not going to do sweep only. We're going to say fossil. Which is under what? Miscellaneous? No. Organic? No. Raw mineral? No. Yes. Raw mineral. Okay. Store fossils here, not sweep only. Go get them. How many ice biomes do you have? <laughs> That's rough. Alright. Aaron's cabin is going to get fossil. Fantastic. Presumably because the trip is so long, um, as power has been flicking on and off, they try to go get fossil and then they just give up, I imagine. Now we need to do something about power. Current load is 1.26. Yeah, we, we just straight up need more coal generators for now. How about... Well, two more will be fine for the moment. No, we could just do this. Don't need these. The ladders. Make sure it's just the ladders that we're deconning. Put some heavy watt wire over here as well. Don't forget the automation wire. And we'll probably copy settings. That should be fine. Probably. What the heck is going on here? How did it... What temperature are we at? Wait, did it take in the wrong gas? Damage from overheating. How did we get damage from overheating? 
Overheat temp is 75. We're at 50 something. Water 62 degrees. Should I consider this a temporary problem? I think I've had about enough of this water down here. Is this thing disabled? No, it's not. Alright, hopefully now our machines are actually running. Fantastic. And here comes steel. Beautiful. And boop, 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 boop. God damn it. You're brave for letting gravity take the wheel with water. I'm always too scared to do that. Is it bravery or stupidity? Oh, 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 oh. We're down to 200 grams. And we've got 30 cycles to fix this. If we don't want to block the volcano off again. Fantastic. Uh, did we get to see this turn into dirt? No. We need to run our aqua tuna a whole lot more before this turns into dirt. Well, not that much more. We need like seven degrees more. Or ten, rather. Cool, cool, cool. Look at those steam turbines go. Fantastic. Beautiful. It's small what temp for slime into dirt. Um, so at 125 degrees, slime becomes dirt. Um, but you need like two or three degrees extra for that to happen. Um, and then you'll need a robo miner, because I'm pretty sure 100% of the time it's going to turn into a block of dirt. Which means, actually, if you wanted to make natural tiles, uh, for pips to plant trees, you could totally do that. It'd be a lot of work, though. <laughs> Speaking of which, why are there no pips in here? Oh, god damn it. Um, you know what? Stop it with the shine bugs in this room. Or I could just use the mud for that? No, no, no. There's no such mud. Never was. We're down to the micrograms already. With these two pumps, it's really fast. Okay. So I don't think we're going to be needing this. And... Here comes our vacuum. I think it's probably safe to re-enable auto repair on these buildings. And we might have to mop this in order to let the gas out. Buck Buck, thank you very much for the six months. Much appreciated, thank you. And welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Supposedly you can create dirt tiles, something, something, metal doors around the tile you want to dirt block. Hmm. Hey, how did water get here just now? Uh, I certainly hope I wasn't premature to remove the... Uh, the water pump, but we could probably mop it. There's only a very small amount left of steam. Okay. 
Just a hundred mi milligrams, sixty milligrams, fifty milligrams. We have twenty nine cycles to fix this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are we concerned about the water further to the right? Oh, this? Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, no. I'm going to have to decon this again. Block that off? No, it's still going to be in the same room. Did we make this out of obsidian? We did. Fantastic. And vacuum is starting to appear. Alright, please mop the water. Yeah, the steam is cooling down. Because there's so little of it, it's easy for it to exchange temperature with, like, maybe even the insulated tiles or something at this point. Oh, the auto sweeper is working. Is this taking overheat damage? God damn it. Wait, what's it made of? Probably, like, lead. It's made out of iron. Um, it's going to overheat at 125. Suddenly we have way more steam in here. We've got like a kilogram... God damn it. Probably because it touched the metal tile? Hmm. Normally it would be fine that this is iron. Is the thing. If we can just get rid of the gas. We were so close to finishing and then this little bit of water exploded into steam. Oh good, now we can't mop this. Fantastic. What's going to happen to the water when we do this? It's just going to keep taking overheat damage. Not very much, though. Alright, now we can finally mop. Hopefully for the last time. Yes? Why did it turn into water and then into steam, though? Maybe I should just decon this until we're ready. It's taking... No, we're so close to finished. We're literally on the final countdown now. 50 milligrams, 40 milligrams, 30, 20, 15, 10... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight hundred micrograms, and then we can finally stop seeing this thing get damaged. Here it comes. That's the water I was mentioning earlier. Can use a liquid wall pump to get rid of it. Uh, that would be a problem replacing afterwards. Alright, 30 micrograms. Let's go. And 
and then we can get rid of this hydrogen loop stuff as well. Seven, six, oh. Yeah, we're almost there. There it goes. Okay. Finally get rid of all this. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. And this. And this. And then all of these. And I kind of really do want to try this without the conveyor shut off. Nah, it's fine. Oh, we... I was going to say we got rid of the pipes, but that's not true. Um... It probably doesn't matter if they're insulated or not, but why not play it safe? Right. Why not? Is this thing still taking over heat damage, or it just hasn't been repaired yet? No, it's heating up because it's being used. Uh, we kind of need those pipes done. Oh no. The igneous rock is a little hot as well. There we go. There we go. Heat dropping very quickly. And just five more degrees and it stops taking damage. Fantastic. Alright. Um, I could auto sweep all of this. I, I, I could order this swept rather. Or we could wait for the auto sweeper to do it. And, oh, it doesn't actually reach over here. Doop, 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 doop. It can't exchange heat anymore? Um, what can't? Nothing but molten rock is supposed to exchange heat. Uh, when the design is actually working properly. Couldn't. I see. Okay. Oh, right. This thing's only configured to pick up igneous rock. That's fine too. Alright, I think we're ready. When do we find out? 27 cycles. Okay. So do those new vacu uh, vacuum temp things work pretty well? I have some built, but I'm nervous about efficiency. Um, let's say you build steam turbine in space, in vacuum, and you want passive cooling, which you'd normally do something like this, but instead you put in uh, conduction panels this or something? Well, just to illustrate it, maybe like that. Uh, it's not going to be half as good as if you had radiant pipes and immersed it in hydrogen. But for something like a Robominer that gets rid of regolith, uh, it's absolutely perfect. Like, anything that doesn't heat up that quickly, it's exactly what you want. It's it's by far the most convenient way to cool it down. Um, this thing's already down to 
46.3 degrees. And just a minute ago it was taking heat damage all the time, made out of iron. Uh, so at 125. Yeah, 125 degrees plus it was taking heat damage. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty decent. It's just not as powerful as some other things. Alright, um, we kind of need to make sure this stuff gets taken away before the room is full of molten magma. Okay, okay, cool. That's all I'm using it for, so it should be good. Fantastic. And yeah, now I'm excited to see how how this goes, but... 283 kilograms of steam. That should be fine. Uh, but yeah, we need to wait 27 cycles to find out, unfortunately. Meanwhile... Erupts in half a side. That's a lot of iron. 1216 kilograms of iron that's not been picked up. Oh. Did we simply forget to connect this? Is, is that the problem? Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold your horses. Um... Okay, hopefully this thing needs power to let stuff through. It looks like that's how that works. But yeah, now we're letting quite a lot of iron at high temp heat up our steam in here. There we go. Wait, it's already that cool? Oh, I didn't set this. Um, below 200 degrees. Crap, I just sent a lot of hot iron through here. Look at that trail of hot air. Oh no. How hot is it? 182 still? 616 degrees? We're just going to let it chill here for a while, literally. Until it's below 25. That might be a bit extreme. Um, we should probably make sure... We should probably make the hydrogen loop. Give it some love. Or should we? We're actually down to like 24 degrees here. This is 37. Hmm. That's probably fine. We've got coolers on both sides. Oops, indeed. Um, but yeah. Still got a ton of iron over here. You can see the liquid, like, dipping into it. And the volume gets higher really, really quickly. Oh, there it goes. Back to liquid. And back to solid. Okay, so this is 192, 183... Unless we make another cooling room, which maybe we will at some point, um, this is the best we're going to do here. Unless we keep this at like 125 degrees. But I think I'd rather get electricity from the steam turbines a little bit better. Loop it into the aqua tuna room. Uh, this one only goes down to 200 degrees as well. Although at the moment it's only 130 something. 
Maybe I should. No, I think you're right. Uh, this one. Because while it's waiting to cool off, if this is not so hot. I mean, eventually it should be at 200 all the time, but that's not... That's not the way things are happening right now. Are you sure? And then... We could just drop it back up this way. Might as well set that to 100. Your turbines are just collecting dust at this rate. Hmm. Well, it's 125 where they actually were. Oh, this is dirt now. Hey. But yeah, I guess we could basically use this as a cooling room if we consider 125, 130 to be cool. It's a very low effort solution. Oh, and uh, snippy snip this. That way this is going to drop a lot faster. The oxygen here is like 34 degrees. I could make it a radiant piece of pipe. Why not? Uh, that's liquid. Oh, I can't make it out of... That's probably fine. Alright, cryo... Construction... Do it. Oh, it's already down to like 130. Yeah, we've already dumped all this heat here. But for next time. Or next time. This is actually green. Oh, okay. They'll probably get that finished tomorrow. Oh, hey, more, um, more eggshells. Perfect. Perfection. Give me a moment. Eruption imminent. And go. Oh, we just finished that build. Which means this should be finding its way down here? No? That's looking kind of strange. Who's getting scalded? Wait, what? Supplying fabrication materials scalding. Inhaling... What? How are you getting scalded right now? 
I am Sark. Time until death, 4.8 cycles. Oh, he's starving. Why is he starving? He's got a feeder right here. It's got igneous rock. Oh, don't tell me. It's full of nothing but igneous rock. Because we allowed it. As well as sandstone. Bruh. I don't know how he got scalded right here. Maybe he got scalded like here and then went somewhere else or something? Um, in any case. The fact that so much iron can accumulate here as well means... We can store a lot of heat here, I think, actually, before, before we have trouble. Alright, um, I guess we'll just deconstruct this. And that warm iron is going to drop to the ground. It'll have to do. I don't think we're ever dropping this down to... Down to 35 degrees, though. Should probably do a cold room. How would I do a cold room? Need another aqua tuna. A very aggressive one. So pretty much all of like several of these dropped to below two hundred degrees at the same time. doesn't look like it's letting like a single tile through that's at a higher temperature than it should be. So how much iron do we actually have access to without getting scalded? Almost four tons. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. And that is contributing to the temperature in here. Which means uh, it's going to give us more power. Soon, TM. We should probably start working on the next one. How much steel do we have? Lots? Fantastic. Um, this should be obsidian. And we want a snake thing where we go through the vacuum to the steam room. How should I go about that? I could just put the ladder here. No, that doesn't quite work. Um, I think we'll probably copy the first one. So, airlock. Uh, here and here. Or here and here. Should be fine. Something be overheating? That's not ours. Can I suppress warnings about that? I can. Fantastic. 
Um, what do we have here? Oh, it's one of these. We just have to turn everything on, basically. It's all AND gates. Uh, and some NOT gates that we don't want to switch on. Like, these ones? There we go. It's open. Not that we care too much. Uh, it looks like something similar over here. Suppress current is a mod, yes indeed. Yeah, let's see suppress some um, various notifications, like uh, say you never want to know about it if this gas vent is saying that it's over pressure. You just wait until it's reporting over pressure and then click uh, suppress current. Like I could suppress this thing telling me that it's flooded if I wanted to, uh, but that seems like a bad idea. Heard of that but haven't downloaded? Need it though? Indeed. Yeah, like, no research focus. I definitely don't need to be told about that. Uh, not at this stage in the game. What are we printing? Free steel? Free steel. Uh, nah, we'll take the steel. Alright, so... Insulated tile ceramic. Fantastic. That's igneous rock. That could be bad. Oh, but this is where the metal tile is going to go. Mechanical airlock. Actually, before we do that, we should probably do... The wires. I really have my doubts that it's necessary to power the mechanical airlock. Actually, why don't we try something a little different this time? We do need the automation wire. That's not negotiable. And... Metal tiles. We need some... I guess I'll just put a ladder here for now. We need room for steam turbines up here. How long till we find out if this works? 23.6 cycles. It always seems like such a long time when we're just waiting for it. Beep, 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 beep. Um, and some, some of this. That salt water will spill into your volcano room. Um, it's possible. Just mop it up if it does. Should be moppable, yeah. It's getting to be routine making these now. Quite happy with this. This is going very well. Should we get rid of the Robo Miner that we don't need? It is going to give us some steel back. 200 actually. scared. 
When does this stop erupting? 47 cycles? I'm a little scared of dropping something other than steel down this way. Is there already a pipe there? No, there isn't. It looks like there is, though. And this goes here. Urgently, please. Uh, and that's going to need to be connected until we get rid of this. And then we just need to decon this when there's no fluid here. Why is there no polluted water? Oh, right. Yeah, we need to hurry this up. Good job, Boovin. Alright. Um, we got 0. 0.4 cycles... I think we could probably get this done. Yeah, yeah, Boovin's on the case. Alright, now sweep the igneous rock. And I'm less worried about the steel. The steel's not going to melt even. Um, igneous rock, sweep, bio 9. And go. Fantastic. May as well order the steel swept as well. You didn't decon this yet? Well, we're not doing it now. Wait till the thing is idle. You Muppets. Hurry up and don't die. Hurry up and don't die, please. Oh my god, how close are you going to cut it? Jeebus. Alright. Steel mechanized airlock. And we should be able to build all that in any order. What is that? Lettuce? Hmm. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. I think we... Well, we need a steam turbine up here. We didn't end up getting any liquid down here. Convenient. We better make sure we don't get blocked by sand. One cool thing about a build like this is you could turn off the steam turbines if you are full on power and save the heat slash power for later. Indeed. And you could have, um, like, I don't know exactly how far it can go... But, like, if you need a bigger storage for heat, you could just make this room bigger, right? Very neat. Oh, uh, when is this idle? 46 cycles. Idle erupts in 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, let's try and get this deconstructed. And let's check nobody's getting themselves killed over here. Not yet. The way I tamed them currently, you have to cool it immediately or stuff will break. So this is definitely making me think. Yeah, uh, 
exactly the same problem with my first tamed volcanoes. But yeah, I got it. I got the idea from looking at your builds. Oh, we've got a waterlock here by accident. I think I'll keep it. Alright, um, no one seems to be dying here just yet. Let's get this igneous rock out of here. Big brain. <laughs> Two heads better than one. Don't care if this has no power, why is it elected? And suppress. Fantastic. So it's just going to open and close a bit slower, which is probably fine. If anything, it'll act a little bit like a built-in latch without any fancy circuitry. Alright, um... This is already down to like 50 degrees. I think I set this too aggressively. What's the temperature? 33? Make it 35. Maybe that is still too aggressive. How about 40? Forty sounds reasonable. Should probably put another one here. Yeah, now it's actually gaining temperature, because it's cooled off over here. Oh no. It didn't work out quite the way I had in mind. I could add more logic to it, but why create such spaghetti when we could just make a proper cooling room eventually? Well, now that it's backed up, it w it's actually worse that it goes through the steam room. That's not really helping anything. Of course. Should be safe now. What are we printing? Don't move the new printables report. There we go. Uh, plastic? 500 kilo isn't bad. It's quite good actually. How's our coal doing? Slowly running out. Need to keep taming volcanoes. Speaking of volcanoes... 20 cycles until we see what's what. Much excitement. Alright, um... We probably want to block this off. And we're going to need some power over here. 
I guess we'll run lead wires across this way. That looks tacky as hell. Uh, I need to decon these so we can put an airlock. Uh, I think I do actually want the airlock door up the top this time. That's going to be a really small steam room, though. No, I don't think I like that. Even though there's going to be a bit of water here, it's fine. Kids will never understand snake? Wait, what? I team by pumping tiny beads through radiant pipe in a steam room. Comes out cool on the other side. I need beads. Don't understand. Peppermancy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That cable wiring. I team mine by directly putting water in it, the steam room being where the volcano is. Yeah, that's what I used to do. Alright, how rapidly is this cooling? Kinda rapidly. I can live with that. I think. Probably. Maybe. For now. For now. We don't have seven tons of iron here, so it's probably working okay. It's going to keep erupting for another 44 cycles. Not bad. And we're looking at uh, 442.4 kilograms of iron every 807 seconds. So divided by 807 is a bit more than half a kilo of iron per second. While it's active, that is. Which is about a bit more than half the time. So we're probably looking at really roughly like 0.3 iron per second. That actually sounds pretty good. Especially from just one of the two volcanoes. Um... I want to get this up here already so we can put down a transformer. So that we can set up our airlock doors. Uh, and we're gonna need just an auto sweeper and conveyor loader in this room. Conveyor loader. Iron should be fine. Mm, iron should be okay for this as well. It has the same melting temperature, and this doesn't have an overheat temperature. But we're not going to do a shoot here, are we? I could just dump it out here. No, no, no. Maybe I should dump it in the water so that it has a huge body that'll take forever to heat up. That might actually be the best way to do things. Instead of dropping it in the air here. And we're going to have a coolant loop. I mean, we do have a coolant loop for the water. It's running through the Thermo Aquatuna. 
And we can always add more if we have the power to support it. And we could limit dropping off iron based on the water temperature. As opposed to the temperature of the iron itself, and that's kind of going to be more precise. I'm liking where this is going. We could even have multiple metals coming in this way on the same conveyor. Ideally, not down the middle of the base and heating it up, though. Although, if their trip is going to be fast enough that they don't exchange that much heat with the base... Um... And we've got our coolant loop here? No, I don't think that's a good idea. We might end up melting our plastic ladders. I kind of want it to go around the base. I could just drop it in the steam room and be happy with 200 degrees. I'd say that's a pretty decent stopgap. That's actually going to decrease the temperature of the steam, though. And gain heat, because it already comes out when it's below 200. Hmm... If I could get it to the water reservoir without heating up a significant path before it gets there, then that actually sounds good, but I don't really think it's going to work out that way. I could drop it all down here. This whole area is going to heat up. What I really want is a cold room. And I really think we should have a lot more... I could use an AETN. There's one right here. What are we at? Negative 50? And it keeps stopping because it's actually reached minimum temperature. Or I don't know if this one does or not. But it would eventually do that. Hey, this is made of iron. Hmm... It'll be a very short trip here as well. It'll be a very long trip for the dupes to pick up this iron. I could just run the conveyor loader, uh, the conveyor rail through here and stop and wait till it gets cool and then bring it all the way back to the base. That might be one way to go about it. This one especially, I'd rather have a cold room right next to it, though. I suspect it's going to take too much energy, though, at this point. Hmm. I think for now we'll just put up with this kind of setup. That's fine for now. Um, I think it's time to put in our first... airlock here. So that we can start emptying this room. It's going to be a little slower with just one gas pump, but then I won't have to redo the wires. Then again, redoing the wires is easy, we just decon. 
Ah, this is fine. Is there a reason to pump it all this way? Ah, eh, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Alright. Uh, and now that that's built, we can finish this. I don't think those two tiles need to be ceramic, but we may as well be careful. What are we doing here? Picking up lettuce. Okie dokie. That's an awful lot of shine bugs in there. Where's the decor display? It's light. There it is. And right up on the roof, there's some really nice decor in this room. Maximum. Plus 120. Amazing. turbines over here. I honestly really, really doubt that we need to. Because it's not like these are running. What's the uptime? This cycle, 60%. Last cycle, 31. Last five, 34. Last five cycles, 34%. And that's while this is active. So, I'm going to be a little bit brave and say we only need one steam turbine up here. As we refine our build. So we're going to say automation wire. semi lens. thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we definitely do want to use a conveyor shutoff. What is this? Left shift F3. That's pretty awkward. I'm just going to click it. That's not right. This can be gold amalgam, but this probably should be steel. And... And so on. Actually, I think gold amalgam has a higher melting point than iron. 1063 or 1064. Nope, iron is higher. So we could probably make that out of iron ore? But I'd rather not risk it. We're making steel so easily, this playthrough. Um, speaking of... Can we finally get started... Emptying this room of gas? That would be nice. I think, however, we should probably run our conveyors this way. Or even more than that. No, there's no massive rush, I think. There's only 208 kilos of iron here, so this is 
what is this? 10, 11 tiles? This is more than enough iron uh, to be dropping heat simultaneously, I think. Although, if we did it that way, I just saw the two steam turbines actually took time to get it down below 200 degrees. Do we lose efficiency beyond 200 degrees? Or will the steam turbine just run for longer off of the same stuff? Suck, why are you in there without a Atmo suit? Not. At least it's a, it's a short trip, I suppose. Yeah, I kind of want to try this. We could always tweak how many tiles of uh, conveyor are exposed simultaneously. Got an idea for you, if you dare to listen. <laughs> if I dare, oh my. Seventeen cycles until we see this hopefully working. We hope. I'm gonna need to run the polluted water all the way over this way. I can steal from here. That shouldn't be too difficult. Not enough sandstone. What happened to all that sandstone we had access to? Also, do we have any... Not yet. Oh, are they glum? They are cramped and glum. I think our limit is five. Uh, let's just take one away at a time and see what happens. Auto wrangle surplus. Boovim should be on the case. No? Pen status okay. What does that mean? I thought this included the eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What if I set this to five? Does it just not count eggs for auto wrangle surplus? One, two, three, four. Oh my god. I think it does. Let's say max crit is zero. Get it down to just the eggs. here. 27 grams of tile. I mean, grams of tile? Uh, double digit grams per tile of gas left in here. We're going to need a little bit of wire. Just a wee tad. Nope. I suppose I'll rethink it. Ares her gaming. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is going to pick up iron and nothing else. Um, we're going to need... You know what? I'm sure we can make this stuff out of iron. Because if we've got molten iron up here, something's seriously wrong. Like, really, really wrong. So we're going to need a knot gate. For... For these two. As in, don't bring... Uh, 
but don't bring more hot iron through if temperature up here is high. Demo sensor. Someone drank all of my water. Okay. Oh, they got that built already. All right. Above 200 degrees. Activate steam turbine. Um, deactivate door so that no more heat flows through. And below 200 degrees, allow iron to come up this way. Oh, and then we need a temp sensor over here. Um, should also be made out of iron. Actually, a lot of that stuff I should have made out of iron. It's fine. Probably. Cool. So I don't think I have to do any more settings there until... Thermo sensor is complete. Please build it before the bell. No, don't run away. Ah, oh. we're down to the two grams of hydrogen in this corner. Fantastic. All right. If below two hundred degrees, allow the iron to leave the room, and then we'll just feed it to the same temperature sensor. I think. I keep getting tempted to raise this setting. Honestly, as long as they don't get scolded when they pick it up, it's probably fine. Almost 500 kilo here, that's totally fine. Cool, cool. Seven forty milligrams. Fifteen point four cycles until volcano is ready to do its thing. All right, how many other volcanoes do we have to tame uh, on this playthrough? There's not one over there, is there? I don't think so. I recall, I think we have a copper one. This one is slush or something. Uh, salt water geyser. But it's not a cold one, so it's not that exciting. Um, copper is... I marked it with a C somewhere. Oh, where, oh, where can my copper geyser be? Did we get a copper geyser? Maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm misremembering. Uh... Probably would have helped if I'd marked it as red priority. Speaking of which... Where, oh where, is that geyser, or does it even exist? Oh, here it is. It's not marked with a C, it's dug out. 
get the natural gas under control. Uh, where did I find natural gas again? Oh, here it is. Hmm. I kind of feel like getting that metal flow maxed out. Having more refined metal than we know what to do with definitely makes things a little less stressful when we're building new stuff. I mean, we're probably already there, but, you know. Um, we're getting very practiced at this build. Alright, so we're going to say... Wait, how much does this output? 12.4 kilograms a second, 33 seconds every 761, compared to 8 per second, 56,807. I think this is about the same. So we can probably get away with a pretty small build like we're doing up here. This one's actually 11 kilograms a second. It's a lot more like the copper. It's more intense and shorter bursts. Much more hampered by energy than metal, but we do get energy when we get metal. It's not that much, but it is energy. Every bit of heat that comes out of here above ambient, um, or above 200, I guess, is a significant chunk of energy. We are kind of running out of coal, though. Oh, I definitely don't want to see this. Suppress current copy settings. Turbine too hot? Oh. Really? I wasn't expecting that. Huh. We've got... 14 degree polluted water with radiant pipes coming through. And yet, our steam turbines here are at, a, are at 100 degrees? That seems kind of strange. We're only gaining like 4 degrees in the polluted water loop. Hmm... Hmm. I mean, this here doesn't need to be in its own enclosed little room. We didn't do that over here. Although this one's a lot less active, I guess. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna deconstruct this door and see how bad that is. There's only 100 grams of gas in the room? Oh! Is that so? 100 grams per tile. Yeah, you're right. Um, Alright, let's try putting some more gas in first. Just put in... Whatever we have here should be oxygen. Uh, but just put in the maximum for a regular gas vent. How's this build looking? Pretty, pretty good, I think. No liquid output, you don't say. Speaking of which... Wasn't I about to put... Yeah, 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 I was about to put liquid bridges here. So that we could borrow this. Um, we're gonna need another... We're gonna need a wider ladder. 
and radiant pike. Maybe just bring it down like so. Actually, don't use radiant for that. Insulated, because we're not doing passive cooling. The only hybrid you can do for passive cooling and active is basically active cooling being the emergency button. I think we'll drop it straight on the metal. That's where it's going to be hottest, right? Seems good. Alright, so like this. And like this. Is that going to cause problems? Most definitely. We'll just deal with it. Or I could send some pipes through some walls. Um, that would probably help. That's not the problem. Uh, the problem is this sand here. I'd have to dig into the abyssalite. No, that's fine. Halt. Uh, where are we getting our wood from? This way. And this way. Should be sufficient, especially after we actually have some gas in here. Alright, let's see how the temperature looks on this thing. It is dropping really fast. Probably helps that we're pumping in cold gas. Yeah, you might want to get out of here. But we'll see how it... Uh, I'm trying to... Yep, nope. I'm trying to get ready to suppress current. There we go. Suppress current gas vent over pressure. Don't care. In fact, that's good. Alright, so once this actually equalizes, uh, we should probably see what happened. Oh, right. Link that for now. Uh, we should probably see our steam turbines managing to stay well below 100. much more easily. Yeah, it is dropping way down. Cool, cool, cool. And that heat, of course, is getting sent back into the base, but it'll sort itself out. There wasn't that much heat because we didn't have that much gas in here. Not that much thermal mass. Uh, we've given ourselves the gift of salt water. I guess I could just throw together... As long as we're sure it's only going to be water here, not polluted water or anything, um, I could just throw in a desalinator. In fact, doesn't the desalinator act like the... Uh, the carbon skimmer and just ignore bad inputs? No, I think we need a pump, right? Before the desalinator? Yeah. Probably. Um, let's deke on these. Why is that granite here? I guess it was just never dug. We're down to one gram of gas in this room. Fantastic. I am realizing we don't have a atmosuit checkpoint going into here. So du dupes coming in could exhale 
Uh, we're going to have to do something about that. And that's something... Um, where would I put it? Let's get rid of these ladders. Deconstruct buildings. Because a ladder counts as a building. And then the only path up here is along this wall. Uh, this floor, rather. And then we can put Atmo suit ducks to our heart's content. Back to my idea? What was your idea? Ooh, look at that iron. Yeah, I think we found a pretty good balance for the temperature for the iron. 40 degrees isn't that bad. You know what? We can easily, very easily, afford more Atmu suits. We could afford 78, actually. No, wait, divide that by 3. I forgot it's 300 per Atmu suit. But still, we can afford a lot of Atmo suits right now. Very, very easily. There's only 100 grams of gas in the room, indeed. Uh, Kopi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Push your bedroom somewhere and drop exosuits in front so they will wear them 24-7. Oh yeah, no, I've been wanting to do that for ages, but like, it's very, well, it's not possible. Um, I was going to say it's very difficult to build the final layout right from the very start, right? I want this whole area to be basically the living quarters and everywhere else to be at Musuit land. Alright. Deliver suit, prior nine. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Then plastic. Uh it's not that we're having oxygen problems, but that is a lot of oxygen to catch up on. Actually, we do have less oxygen per tile than we had before. Um, I think it's probably about time to add another electrolyzer. What is this made of? Gold amalgam. Considering the temperature, that's probably fine. We might need... I think we're... Hmm. I think we're actually bottlenecked on these two gas pumps. That shouldn't be the case. We've got only got two electrolyzers. A hundred... Uh, sorry, 888 grams per second. Yeah, we should be bottlenecked just barely on the electrolyzers. Well, I don't think it's a bad idea to double this. Except we're going to need a whole other pipe and filter. But the oxygen is the thing. Also... Oh god. The pipe would have to go, like, way up here. No, it's on the way back down that it empties, actually. Hmm. So we're getting a full pipe of oxygen up this way. Oh. That would help. I guess we could probably build these ahead of time. Okay. That's that's looking a little bit better. Um, it should probably go 
You know what? I actually don't mind 50% going to the atmosuit docks and 50% getting dumped into the atmosphere. That's probably okay. It shouldn't too, take too long to saturate it anyway. Now that we fixed that. It takes a lot though. Ratio should be 2 to 3. Electro pumps to oxygen. Um... I don't know about that, because... No, definitely not. Because the electrolyzers, if they had 100% uptime, which they don't, uh, give us 888 grams per second. Two pumps can take in 1,000 per second. Those are already powered and working. But you got a filter, yeah. That's the thing, I would have to put another filter, because we're bottlenecked on the pipe at a thousand per second. Um, I would have to put another filter and then insert this into the loop somewhere where it's pretty empty, like here, which would mean having a pipe go all the way up there. Which I'm not sure that I want. Is the suit dot bugged? What do you mean? I don't think so. I think it just takes a shockingly large amount of oxygen to fill this. Where are you going with that? Oh, eggshells. That's okay, I guess. Just took very long, indeed. Indeed it does. Oh no, I forgot. Um... needs to be prior 9, this is prior 8, this is just for overflow, hatch, and we're not going to take hatchlings, no. Um, yeah. That reminds me, what happened to that extra Draco? Oh well. Not sure why we only have two glossies. Starving. Oh no. Oh no. Body temperature. Wait, what? Polluted water at 20 degrees. Oxygen at 29 degrees. Um. We've got a long path here. That should be more than enough to exchange heat. But I guess. Let's make this out of iron. And do it quickly. I'm surprised the bristle blossoms are, are growing if, um... Oh no. Oh no. Uh... Maybe I should make another house for these guys. That wouldn't take long. I think we can. But yeah, uh, we're not having temperature problems down here. It's not the heat coming through the insulated tiles, is it? 
Maybe? Hmm. Temperature's dropping pretty quickly now. I don't appreciate them running off when they're almost finished, but that should be enough. The trees themselves have a relatively high thermal mass. Um, it'll take them a bit longer to cool down. There we go. There we go. Pressure as well? What's the pressure problem? 324 grams of oxygen. Uh, I don't want that. We don't want the hydrogen getting out. I mean, I guess some hydrogen is going to stay on the roof no matter what. So it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Unless there's some threshold of pressure for the hydrogen that's needed to make the glossies uh, drop plastic. The Drekos themselves have a temperature of 60 degrees after they get sheared? They get hot from getting sheared? Really? They get all hot and bothered? How's our temp here? It's definitely dropping below 30. We just need the, the trees to catch up, I think. As long as there's enough for the Drekos to eat. Well, considering how behind most of these trees are on their growth phase the cycle. Okay, there we go. He's eaten something. Fantastic. I would get hot too when my when my ass got sheared. I don't know. Never been sheared. Oh, is this empty already? Wow. We already have vacuum here. Oh. Let's get rid of the gas pipe. And then we can place another airlock up here. And we'll need to borrow water along yet another pipe. Don't connect it just yet. Benefits of not digging slime once you are at vacuum? What do you mean? We should probably sweep this stuff, huh? Alright. What else were we doing? Trying to make sure trees are growing. That looks pretty good. That looks very good, actually. Weirdly enough, I mean, it's it's earlier in the loop, so it's not that weird, but I don't think we need um, radiant pipe over here. Okay. Should be more than enough of that. Several times already you had a near vacuum and then were digging slime or letting pee water in to off gas. What, on this build? I don't think so. Hmm. 
It's not like one of our filters can take double inputs, right? The filter, like the everything else filter, those can just join up. That won't really cause any problems. Um, bridge this way, and then, and then, and then, and then. Really, I would have to link it like up here. For that to be any good. I don't particularly want to do that. But I guess I could still leave it pretty workable if we need to bring gas pipes through here. Actually. So then, this could go here. And then, this way. Oh, and we need to set the filter. Luckily, we saw that first. Fantastic. What are we printing? Um, probably some gold amalgam. Why not? This build is getting a lot slower now that we're dependent on Atmo suits. But once we finish this little update, uh, it should be a lot more effective. We just doubled our oxygen throughput. Only downside being more heat, more power, and of course, we're going to consume our water faster, but we have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of water stored away. So I think both of these would have to be outputting CO2 at the same time for this to be a problem, right? Yeah. We can ignore that. And now we'll get up to pressure with all of these gas vents. Which means we'll stop having thin air up here. Fantastic. I could maybe remove the Atmo sensors from these and just go ham. Letting the pressure build up. Like maximum pressure from a regular gas vent, which the dupes won't mind. That's probably fine. I think I'll disable this uh, Atmo suit checkpoint until we actually need people to be in an Atmo suit to come over here. That might be a better idea. Ooh, the auto sweeper put the steel in place. That's cute. What do we got here? Three tons of iron. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's not that hot here. Oh, oh, oh. When is this thing active? Nine more cycles. 
Oh no. They made a complicated circuit to literally have a countdown um, and a notification when we had a volcano ticking down last time. But it took enough effort and it was like sketchy enough like wondering if it was set correctly that I can't really be bothered with it. I could just do... well... Oh, I know. If I make it out of steel, we can just do like a temperature sensor here or something. Or, or a hydro sensor? Yeah, that's easy. Automation wire... Automated notifier... Fantastic. Looks like the rain has stopped. Oh, we still haven't thrown anyone in the neural vacillator. Who wants to get a probably brain upgrade? I still have no idea why people are sometimes coming into this room without an Atmo suit. Yes? Um, do we have you? In the... In the video game? Does the base game have the Geotuner building as well? Yes. Yeah, does anyone know why people are occasionally coming in here without an Atmo suit, even though we've got the checkpoint? I'd really like to know. What's the temperature like here? 60 degrees, that's totally fine. D hose, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Trekkers are happy now. This building can tell when a volcano is erupting and send automation signals. Oh, we'll have to do that. This will have to do for now, though. We need a fancy room for it, I remember. Um, is it under stations? Geotuner. Increases the temp... <sighs> what are you doing? Refining steel. Why are you doing it without an Atmo suit? There's only one way in and out of this room. There are two Atmo suits... How are there two Atmo suits? You're in here wearing an Atmo suit. And there are two Atmo suits sitting in the docks over here. Where the hell did you... Where did you get your Atmo suit? You're dropping it off here. But what? You're just dropping it. Set it to vacancy only? Vacancy only. Clearance vacancy. Suited duplicants may only pass if there's an available dock to store their suit. Always. When all available docks are full, duplicants will unequip their suit and drop them on the floor. That, didn't we just see that happen? Suited duplicants may only pass if there's an available dock to store their suit. I don't understand. There's no suit here. But it's because you've got one. Never mind. You just changed it to vacancy. Yeah, it was on vacancy to start with, and I switched it back and forth. Set it to vacancy only for every checkpoint. Does it... Does that little picture change? No. Yeah, I've never, like, messed with that. The status on top gives the info, not the button. Oh. 
No? They're all they all say clearance vacancy. Status clearance always permitted. Always permitted. Always permitted. You're saying I should change them to vacancy. Why would it be on always, and how is only this one doing weird things? Like, is that the default? Clearance always permitted. When all available docks are full, duplicants will unequip their suits and drop them on the floor. Dupli duplicants may pass even if there is no room to store their suits. But like, presumably that's to come back, right? Yes, which is dumb. Why is it only this room that's doing weird stuff, though? Sounds dumb, indeed. Well, if... Oh, I just saw that go red when there were no suits left. I can't remember if I've seen that before. Okay, okay. So this goes red, right? Now we change it to always. It's still red. Okay, that doesn't change. Hmm. Well, if it stops from getting scolded, then I'll take it. It has to be changed every time, yes, unless you use a mod for that. That is... Suboptimal. I don't mean using the mod, I mean that the mod is necessary. Alright, we got our vacuum. We got our automation. We've got our everything, I think. As soon as we get this built, rather. Then it's time... Do we sweep this away, please? Oh, we probably need more storage. Oh, we need automation wire for this bit. Um, automation wire... Set this to... I think I already set it up. But below 200. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and I forgot I was trying to rescue these poor little shine nymphs. Okay, prior nine. And I think I removed them from this one. That's why they're all wrangled. Oh my goodness. Poor little guys. Okay, there we go. Now what do they eat again? They eat... Bristleberry? How do I tell if they eat it straight from the... straight from the tree or not. For glossy Dracos, it says they eat mealwood as opposed to mealwood lice, right? Meal lice. Um, bristle blossom is probably what it would... S Why are we... Okay, it's probably what it would say if it had to eat it straight from the tree. As opposed to bristle berry. Okay, cool. So this this guy needs to eat bristle berry. Yeah. Or we could feed him gristle berry for a bit more food. Or phosphorite. How much phosphorite do we have? I don't think I've set up a chain to reproduce phosphorite. We've got forty tons. I think it's just lying around. That's right. Um, I can't remember how... Oh, Dracos make it. I think we've got our Phosphorite covered. 
Especially after we make sure we have more than two Dracos because they're not starving to death. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Can we suppress current copy settings and whoosh? Yummy Draco poop, indeed. They get they got an air feeder. Yeah, I was wondering about that actually. Airborne critter bait. No, we don't want to trap them, right? Critter trap, fish trap, incubator. So will they not eat from the critter feeder? Where is it? Phosphite. Sunbug? Wait, is this a sunbug? No. It's a shine bug. Well, whatever, that's a variant. Sun nymph, phosphite. Uh, shine nymph and bug. Doesn't say here that they can eat gristleberry. Actually, even though it does say it here, but there's no way to like drop it off. If we can set this to shine bug, then it should work, right? It's critter feeder, fantastic. All right, please get that supplied, fantastic. And did we get all the shine bugs out of here? Almost. I really want pips in here. Not sure why they got out. And this little guy's been in this one corner for as long as I can remember, actually. Tame, glum, starving, until death, eight cycles? I could have sworn this one guy has been in this tile forever, though. Oh, no. Oh, we did go down to the eggs. Alright, uh, maximum five critters. Fantastic. Oh, our steam is at 200. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How's this build looking? How, how is this last little bit taking so long to finish? Where are you going? Sure. Should probably just like dig a path to that so they don't have to go around. As long as the water doesn't get out. I don't think it will. finish? I think we did. Just waiting for it to fill. Alright. Uh, once they're done sweeping this crab, which I think... no? I was gonna say I think that needs more storage bins, but apparently not. I guess I can mark it as high priority. It's not really that important, but I'd really just rather not have random crap in here. We could probably open this up though. Start analyzing. What are we printing? 
Um... I'm still not really looking for another dupe right now. And these aren't that exciting. There we go. I should be able to get through this now. And then Pintro, the, the, not Pintro's, Poker Shells can come closer and drop their, where are you going? Uh, drop their Malt closer, even. Oh, we got idle people. Wait, are you idle? Finding safer area. Yeah, 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 Larius is idle. Okay. Which means we finished sweeping. I thought I heard volcano eruption noises. Um, but hopefully not yet. I don't want molten granite in there if we can help it. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't set up the notifier. We've got 6.5 cycles left. Alright. Hydro sensor, if above zero, uh, notify. It's volcano time. Splush. Cause and zoom. Fantastic. Enable Atmo check for that area. Atmo check. Kind of hard to hold your breath analyzing some... Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, enable? Is anyone else here still? I don't think so. We got lucky and didn't dump any CO2 in there. Or I guess... Would they hold their breath in the vacuum and not exhale? No, we've had trouble with them exhaling before. Right. That's a lot of shine bugs. Can we wrangle the rest of these? Auto wrangle surplus and we're only supposed to be allowing pips. Also, this guy is still sitting here glum, starving to death, and I thought we ordered him wrangled. Something is definitely up here. I'm pretty sure we've moved him in here before, and he keeps ending up back in this room. Don't splooge green stuff all over him. There we go. Okay. So, he's glum, he's starving, he's sitting completely still, he's getting groomed. That's a good start. And now he stands in the doorway and teleports through. I think I see the problem. But could you please not leave him lying there as you stand idle? Okay. Now is he gonna... Could you not idle in the doorway? Good gravy. Alright, apparently our pip is vibing now. We're, we're grooming the shine bugs that aren't supposed to be here. Fantastic. Oh, now he's getting wrangled. He ate something, and he's tame and groomed and happy. Fantastic. That's what I want to see. They need the dupe from across the map to take care of that. Indeed. Alright, um, also let's sweep this crap. And hopefully we'll start breeding dupes soon. I mean, 
tips. Reading dupes is maybe NSFW. I don't know. Depends how it's done. Oh, they can't reach this? Well, that would probably help. That would probably help. Smooth hatch? What do you mean? Ooh. Smooth hatch. Uh, they enjoy burrowing into the ground in extreme refined metal. Oh, I remember this. They don't give you a very good rate of exchange. It's better than uh, running it through the rock crusher. But yeah, you don't really want to... That's unfortunate. Um, let's, let's not... With the smooth hatch. Actually, you know what? If we could feed him the metal that comes out of the two iron volcanoes, maybe I'd consider it. But we have to feed him our non-renewable... Where's the smooth hatch? We have to feed him our non-renewable ore. Which is even worse. Let's make an omelette. Uh, always. Always with the smooth hatch eggs. Let's... Why is the water moving slowly? Because... I don't know. Because we have new input, that's why. Pretty sure that's the only reason. Looks like it. This is fine. Alright, I think we're ready to put water in here. Oh. I thought that was a little bit of polluted water for a second there. Speaking of fluids, how's our oxygen doing? What the actual? No, 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 no. Okay, it's getting dumped back in this room, so that's okay. But... But, but, but... Um... Apparently I need to put some... Logic on these guys as well. I think you just need to dig all the way to the top of the map. There will be renewable ore. Uh, it comes out as refined. Yeah, I need it to be ore, specifically. Oh, that's gold amalgam. This is refined iron. Gold amalgam. It, it's, it's an absolute trickle, though. I don't know that we could actually support even one smooth hatch on the throughput from that. Um, so why did this happen? Hmm. This thing detects oxygen and opens the door if there is oxygen down here. Uh... We now have four of these and four of these, so the oxygen... We had enough gas pump to take in all the oxygen before. We should have enough gas pump to take in... Oh. Nope, my mistake. We would need, um, in theory, if these were maximum uptime, which they're not, uh, 888 times 4. 
3,552, so like seven gas pumps. We've got four, five, six. Can't really fit seven. I could get rid of that carbon skin. Um, but shouldn't we just control the throughput instead? What's this set to? If we're not low on water. We should probably have another condition to run our electrolyzers, perhaps. Your problem's the excess hydrogen? Yeah. Um, wasn't really expecting that. Because I thought it would just reach max pressure or something. Um, what's this one? Green for low threshold. So not that. We could also say if we detect hydrogen... I wish we could, like, measure that whole line. Oh, I know. What if we just say if hydrogen pressure up here, like this corner, is high enough, then stop the electrolyzers. That kind of assumes that we have enough oxygen. Well, considering it's producing oxygen when it produces hydrogen, that should probably be true, right? Well, I could do this either way, because we could set this however we want. Put it, like, in the middle of the room, I guess. The dupes won't be able to reach it, though. One, two, three, four, five... Um, I could put it up here. I guess. No, we do need to connect it to the knot, because currently that's always outputting green. Okay. At my pressure in the corner... Connect it to the knot, and we might just need a... Oh, we've already got a ladder here. Alright. So I'm just going to keep lowering the... Let's say like a kilogram per tile. We'll see what that looks like. Um, if pressure... Above or below? Above? If pressure above one kilogram per tile, turn off the electrolyzers. And we can be confident that this is always hydrogen. So now... Oh no! Um... Um... Probably... What's this detecting right now? Hydrogen. Probably let the dupes out. And then change that back to detect oxygen. Alright. So now we've got no oxygen in here, and the electrolyzers have stopped. And we basically need to wait for the hydrogen generators to burn off the excess. Um, I think what we want to do is switch off these pumps. They wanted to pseudo-crew themselves. <laughs> S-P-O-M is rather picky in design. S-P-O-M. Um, so what's our pressure here? It's actually dropping quicker than expected.
We might need another sensor to allow the pumps to work. I mean, I could always use this one. What's this set to? It's set to detect hydrogen. It's just that this is full. How is there oxygen in here? Seriously. Did oxygen get into these? No? And no. Just this one tile. Self-powered oxygen machine? Indeed. Again? There's no oxygen here. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Okay, now it seems to work. Yeah, the pressure in that corner is dropping relatively slowly. Meanwhile, we're not getting oxygen, but we did get a bunch more oxygen than we did before. Hmm. Oh, we got our shine bugs out of here? No, never mind. How's this little guy doing? Glum? Why glum? Just because he hasn't been given some TLC? The pump has oxygen stored inside it? Yeah, but how did that happen? Especially considering we ended up with more hydrogen here. Oh no. Oh no. Um how and when this happened, I don't know. I'm surprised we're only finding out about it now and things haven't completely collapsed. But it's taking hydrogen from the loop, but not from the reservoirs. How did we mess that up? I didn't touch it though. Hydrogen comes out here, goes into the loop. Oh, but it has like a lower priority. There needs to be a gap before it comes through. Huh. Okay, well, what about this? And then get rid of that bridge. Please build... There we go. Just a lit. There's another bit of oxygen in there. Bloody hell. Second gas filter bridge, doesn't that look, does that look kosher? Second gas filter to bridge. Uh, this is set to oxygen, same with this one. And it goes to the oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Again with the ox. Why? That this is obviously literally nothing but but hydrogen up here.
Like, we confirmed it a little while ago. And it's been working forever. How the bloody hell is this sucking in oxygen? So, the logic here is detect oxygen... Wait, what? Detect hydrogen. Uh, for five seconds... And then, if that happens, run this for two seconds. And we're looking all the way down here for hydrogen. And if anything, after this mistake, there only should have been more hydrogen in this room. Or at least taking up a larger area. Very, very strong. It's got oxygen again. How? How? Look at it. What the... How is oxygen jumping all the way up here? Is it because of how electrolyzer works? What do you mean? Maybe I shouldn't... We've got more electrolyzers than we need. Maybe I shouldn't have this one right below the pump. Can't really switch it off at the moment. When electrolyzer releases oxygen, it pushes away the H2. It shouldn't be jumping all the way up here, though. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, oh my god, that's so stupid. Oxygen is heavier than hydrogen, what do you mean? That is frustrating. Especially since this has been working for hundreds of cycles with no problem. So presumably now that there's like hydrogen here, oxygen here, it's going to behave better? If you slow down the speed and watch how the electrolyzer releases its gas... Yeah, no, but the first electrolyzer we built was over here, so I don't think that's the entire reason. Hmm. I could put tiles above this, these things. I could, in particular, I, I could put a... Like a cup around this, if that makes sense. I can't put it where the... Automation uh, where the big wire is, though. Just have to bring it around this way. That seems reasonable. You need some kind of lock so that the oxygen and H2 don't mix? Yeah. Oh my... Evil Pla, why are you like this? Uh, I think we can probably get people to 
built this fast enough. There we go. Alright. Even if we put in that electrolyzer again, it should be impossible for oxygen to find its way all the way over here. I think. Pretty sure. And... I could make this go even further across. So usually people burn excess H2. I am burning excess H2. Speaking of which... If there's nothing but hydrogen in here, let's put this back again. Uriel of Sticks. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. That sense of being where it is. Should probably move it. Yeah, I think this will do. And then... Probably if we detect oxygen here... We can run these pumps. This will work. You can build that H2 wall one tile taller. I could, but I don't know. It might affect throughput, maybe? Probably not, actually. I don't know. Isn't this thing supposed to be reporting green signal because above a thousand? Yeah, so we've stopped the electrolyzers. We should probably just tweak that a bit more. But we'll finish the build first. Um, please hurry up. Should only take a second. This is art style. This art style brings me back to the good old Newgrounds days, indeed. Okay, so we're detecting hydrogen with this one. So that we can say, yeah, you can run the pump for a couple of seconds. If we're detecting hydrogen here for five seconds at a time, it's probably safe to say there's no oxygen over here. Maybe we shouldn't have this cup that could, like, catch oxygen. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then this one is going to detect oxygen. And when it does, the pumps are allowed to run. And that should basically be it. And if that went red, it means the electrolyzer's turned on. So that should be pretty reasonable. Cool. Now... If only the carbon skimmer would do its job. Because I'm pretty sure I saw CO2 there. Whatever. What are we printing? Uh, I always find it amusing when we've got these synchronized animations here. Kitchen Minute. Uh, 
Only one person has three interests. Digging, operating, suit wearing. That's not that great. Let's make a puffed light. Why not? Oh, and I was going to make a... Desalinator here. Need to wait till that's gone. Fantastic. Maybe this as well. Pump goes here. And water. Uh, water can just get thrown in this way, I guess. We need some electricity. Is this being used much? Not really. We can probably borrow that. How much longer till Volcano? Uh, 2.7 cycles still. Bruh. Well, at least we'll see it today. And Iron Volcano? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> next activity, 18 cycles. Lucky. We have a little too much water in here. One, two, three thousand plus approximately twelve times three forty one. Now that should be not too much steam for this room, but this is exactly uh, the setup we had that caused a disaster last time. The first time, rather. Um, basically. Basically, the water here somehow got to a massive, massive pressure and exploded. Uh, I guess we'll just train it? But then we're not going to have a vacuum here. Could I perhaps... I'd, I'd like to, like, Drain some of it and then rebuild this. Is that possible? I think it's worth a try to avoid having to put a pump in here. Okay, and then igneous rock. Rebuild that after. Is it letting gas in? It is. I thought I was hoping it would block it. Well, I guess we'll have to pump out some gas. How much have we got now? 126. Yeah, that's. I think we drained it enough. I can't have them going to bed without doing this. It's letting more and more gas in every set. Now we've put water in here as well. I'm pretty sure the desalinator doesn't care. Actually. Well, that sucks. That is most unfortunate. If we put a full-size pump in here, is it gonna... Well, not a pump. I mean a gas pump. If we put a full-size one in here, is it going to complain about flooding? I don't think so. We are going to need to add some more wire in here. And put back those pipes that I removed earlier. Lovely. And bloody tastic. If you feed too much water, there'll be too much steam per tile. Then the liquid vent won't release water. Yeah, no, that's not the problem. So I calculated that. 
when I made this build. I know that if you go over a thousand kilograms per tile, the water won't come out. Um, but all you have to do to avoid that is like, if you half fill it, it won't actually be a problem. If that's a vacuum and then it turns to steam. The problem was, these three tiles I didn't have, and the water that was on this tile reached like over 3,000 kilograms in one tile, I believe. And this tile, I think it was, broke because of pressure, and steam came through into this room. Uh, but it was far less water than like what would cover these 16 tiles. Um, it, it was far less than the amount that would block water from coming out the liquid vent. It's just that when the steam... When the water flashed to steam, we just, for some reason, got massive, massive pressure here. That's what we're trying to avoid. I don't know if we would have had the same problem considering the heat is coming through here. But that was too much of a flashback to what happened last time. So we'll, we'll be starting with a little bit less water. I didn't need, I didn't mean to put half as much as I did in here. I just forgot about it for a minute. Ooh, we got more fishies. Very nice. And our hydrogen build seems to be working. Oh, cool, cool. And we emptied this, which is what's supposed to happen, by the way. Um, just the shape of it, I ended up setting it up so that, like, um, the hydrogen generators turn on when this thing is empty, but that doesn't happen. Uh, we end up draining this one first. So, if anything, I should probably, if I want to keep a reserve, which maybe I should... It's not that big a deal. It's really, really, really easy to keep up with the hydrogen. I mean, the loop's pretty much saturated. Already. Um, but yeah, the generators aren't going to switch off until this is empty. And then it's obviously going to take a while for these two to fill. It's very, very big latch behavior. You know what? Though, I think I will change it to be based on this one. Oops. That's fine. So now we should always have, like, one tank of hydrogen in reserve, in theory. The new iron volcano? Are we releasing water? Yeah, I did. Uh, where is it? We've only got like 761 kilo here. Alright, our big pump is working. We're down to double digit grams. When does this... We're up to 17 cycles. I think we'll be fine. As long as we remember to disconnect this uh, before we end up with steam in here. That is. Ooh, 1.4 cycles. We're gonna see it. I'm surprised this isn't built yet. It's really not a difficult thing to finish. I'm absolutely loving the mod that gives the dupes just one more range of reach. 10 out of 10, best mod. Ooh, we're gonna have another pip. Very nice. Give us that dirt. Uh, 
And maybe... Do we have any acorns lying around? How do I search for it? Barber acorn. We have one. Where is it? It's over here. It's in storage. Okay, so what if... Hypothetically... I dig up these trees, make a storage bin, uh, sweep these away if we can, before the pip grabs them, fantastic. Make a storage for Arbor Acorn. Make it high priority. Mr. Ray Ray brings it over. Good job, Mr. Ray Ray. And then we deconstruct. And I hope I... I'm pretty sure I don't have things on auto-sweep. Alright. Now I'm just gonna walk out of this room. And leave an Arbor Acorn lying on the ground with a pip. And no one's gonna be looking. The pip will never get caught. doing its thing. Definitely, definitely no one is watching. Here we go, here we go. No, 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 oh, come on, you know you want to. Just pick up the arbor. Can it be planted in copper ore? I would have been surprised if mealwood could. I mean, I'm pretty sure two arbor trees are more than enough to support as many pips as... Here we go. There it is. Nice. I I'm pretty sure two of these trees is more than enough to support enough pips that they'd be upset because they're crowded. Can be planted in copper. Yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely happier with three. Cool, cool, cool. Is this done? 70 grams? Micrograms. Even better. Even better. Maybe I should put a little bit of water in before running the gas pump to empty these next time, because look... The water takes up all of these tiles, which the gas can't, which effectively makes the room much, much smaller, which means it'll empty much quicker. And there it goes. And bloody tastic. They literally breed so much if you get if you got a couple of pips in there as well, couldn't fit more in a room if I tried, indeed. Temperature of the base still not a problem? I don't think so. Not really. Oh, it's it's ticking over to like 30. That's not great, but our trees are growing. We've got a we've got one AETN down below. And our hydrogen looping up with another AETN um, from up above. That's a pretty nice handicap. Like, that's, that's keeping the base relatively cool. Although, yeah, you're, you're right. We are gaining a bit of heat in here. We just need to get more active cooling going, which just means more power, because that's what this is bottlenecked on. We'll be getting more power once we sort this thing out. 15 cycles. 
Um, yeah, I think this is fine. I think it's all ready, actually. There's nothing else to do here. Fantastic. What are we printing? What can I do? There we go. Farming, operating, suit wearing. Squeamish is fine. Um, don't want a bottomless stomach. I don't think we really need anything right now. Let's make some omelets. Puffed egg. Where was it? Puffed egg? The thing I just summoned? Puffed egg. There it is. One, two, three. Fantastic. Okay. Erupts in 8.7 cycles. Oh no. That is such a tease. Given food to that quest thing or whatever it is? Uh, no. He wants very, very good food. And he wants three different types of it. So that's basically end game stuff. Still have a million sweet jobs up here. Salt. Snow. Ice. Well, snow can go in here. Uh, as for salt, I don't know. Just allow it to be stored? Where are we... Where are we salting? They're making a lot of real real sounds. Um, what does salt come under? Is it? It's not industrial. Mineral? Mater that's material. Miscellaneous. Consumable. It's actually consu- We do allow salt to be stored here already. So why are they not picking this up? Consumable ore? I don't know. I guess they have higher priority things to do. Damn it, I really wanted to see this today. 8.1 cycles. We've got 10 minutes. That's not going to happen. What about this one? 14 cycles. It's going to be for next week. Well, we can try getting this build started, I guess. I should have done that already. We're going to make... Well, let's plan it out. Tiles here are going to be ceramic, that's for sure. I think we can make it as small as possible. Um, we need obsidian ladders. We need... Airlock door... Well, we have plenty of room here. I could make it a bit tidier. It doesn't have to come from below. I don't want the tiles that drop down in the steam room this time. So, like, this needs to be two tiles higher. 
Not enough. Oh, that's ceramic. Only that much needs to be ceramic. Igneous rock. Can go here. Airlock door. What about airlock door here? And then airlock door here. Now that doesn't even line up with the main bus, does it? Nah, it doesn't need to. Um, so this would be the steam ring. Maybe it should be a bit bigger. Yeah, I think I want to change this a bit. But how? Ladder, like so. Doors, like so. Yeah, I'm happy with that. should just leave the Abyssalite there, as it's an even better insulator, but I don't love the look. I mean, Abyssalite looks cool, but the everything looking weird together look is more what I'm thinking of. Let's move this over a bit. Why not? Let's make it a little wider. That looks decent to me. That's a good start. And just dig out those for now. I miss building stuff with Abyssalite? What do you mean by that? Alright, um... It's gonna take a while to build that since we can only let like one or two people down at a time. And I don't think I even want to allow more than two people this far down. Oh, what about power? We've already got a crappy wire all the way down here. We'll have to change that. We probably... There's only 62 tiles of lead. We've now got 124 tiles worth of iron. Except... We can find a whole lot of lead right here, close to where we're building, right? Right here is like 19 tiles of lead. So yeah, I think it will still make sense to use lead for this part. Or at least a significant chunk of it. Get some more fossils and stuff while we're at it. That's really far away though. See how far it gets us. Except I kind of need to... Hmm. I think we're kind of done with this oil pump for a while, so we could probably just get rid of the old 
uh, cheap power cables here. And that'll allow us... Uh, to run heavy watt conductive all the way down. Okay. In fact, once there's no one up here... Uh, let me just set this door to only allow people through left ways. That way, once I am Sarka goes back, which might be a minute since he's on a roll. Well, we're not going to have to recharge this before I am Sark comes back, right? So we can decon those. Does the oil pump get oil there? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Oh, no. No, it doesn't. All the more reason... Well, it does, but, um... All the more reason to get rid of it for now. We were only really bringing oil up here for the moment. Uh, as coolant for steel. Our metal refinery. I mean, we'll make a build... Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll be able to use this same volcano, actually. Would it be possible to exploit the same volcano to heat up crude oil? To make petroleum? I think so. We just have to have, like, another valve for the heat, right? That shouldn't be too hard. We'll do that next week. I'll just put a door here, uh, and that might remind me what I was planning to do here. Maybe a P for petroleum. There we go. Something to consider. Build is a long way from home. Is that still I am Sark going ham on building stuff? Good thing I was watching. I wasn't expecting Sand to lock him in here. Uh, you can... You can dig the sand out now, so you can go home. Pretty please? What, why are you... The bell has rung. Why are you still working? You're gonna run out of oxygen. Who's doing this? Anyone? No? Okay, how about this? There, you can go home now. Good grief. I think he was continuing to work because he couldn't go back to the break area. Alright, so we can now queue up lead cable. And we can see exactly how far we can go with the amount that we've got left. Uh, it's another four tiles. And we may as well queue the rest up, because when we dig out lead as we go, um, it's going to get taken straight to the construction site. Okay, that should be fine. That should be fine. Six point five cycles and 
12.7 before we see if these work. But judging by how this one went, they should be fine. Maybe with one or two more hiccups first. Okay. Let's give it a save real quick while we've still got 13 dupes. And let's have a look for someone to raid. Time went by a bit faster than I thought it would today. Okay. So Hannah. We've raided before. It was a good one. Um... I think we will go for Sir Hannah today. Don't kill me again, please. I I definitely won't. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Or Factory, that is. Which will be continuing tomorrow with Space Exploration plus Crestorio 2. And for the next few days. Uh, finally getting Bio 2 going. We've got the build ready and everything, we just physically have to build it. Alright. Take care, Evil Plot. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. See you next time. Shit like that, and they are, you know, the chip.